investigating a little bit of a rat problem. A little big rat problem. Big little rat. Mm, no. so Very big rat. The part, big. big. <laughs> <laughs> Which led to the party to set up a trap to attract some of the rats, follow them back to their cave, and fucking annihilate all the rats, including the five, six foot rat, demon rat that apparently has been that's been the head honcho of the whole charade of whatever that's going on. I think we can call him the bad ratitude. <gasps> the bad ratitude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and so after take after completing their first mission, the party went back, uh, dropped the body off to <laughs> Bursley. <laughs> He forgot about that. <laughs> Stanky. Collected collected their reward, headed back to their home in the Slayer's Post, in which they celebrated the evening away with some darts and some heavy alcohol. Jurikins. Jurikins. <laughs> Jurikins. Jurikins. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and um and the party went on to take a rest. Uh, before we go to the next day, we have two more, we have two matters of businesses to take care of. Uh, first off, everyone is leveled up to two. We're at level two now. We're not as squishy, and we can do a little more. Mm. And so let's go around, and we're going to do is our the everyone here is required to roll over their HP. So we're going to go around the table. Uh, let's start with uh, Kanoa. Uh, what level are you taking? I'm taking level in Ranger. And uh, was this a D10 for Ranger, or is it a? Yeah. Uh, D it's a D10 for you. Oh! 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 oh yeah! Oh! <laughs> Take <Nice>. that ten! <laughs> oh my God! HP right, up and to let me know twenty-two, what it, let baby. Let me know where your max HP is now. Twenty-two. Nice. Mm. Oh, that's nice. That's pleasing. Feels good. <laughs> feels real good, man. Feels like I doubled my health pool. That's what it feels like. Nice. All mm. right. Uh, let's go with uh, Jim. All right. I'm uh, I'm leveling in Rogue again. All right. And for you, it's a D8. D8. So let's see my one I'm going to roll here. <laughs> well, I don't allow ones. Well, it's a five. All right. Five. That's, that's not bad. It's average. Right. <laughs> so that's going to put me at 17. Nice. All right, uh, Ace. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I think it's a D8. That's Doing a cleric. Another cleric. Cleric. Yep, that's a D8. I won't just multi-class right off. <laughs> <laughs> right out the gate, multi-class. Hell yeah. That's a one. Re you don't accept ones. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, All we right. do take twos. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Well, so that brings me from a 15 to a 17. You can get your con mod. Okay, oh, no, I, th yeah. I, think, I think that already included his con mod before the dice roll was the 15. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man. I had not. Uh, I had 15 before. So it would be what? Just two plus con mod. Two plus con mod. Mm -hmm. Which is. Order. Hmm. Wait, no, it wouldn't have been possible for you to have a 15 no, before the con no, mod. No, 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 no. no. You know, mm -mm. Mm. I have to go back and look what I had. Mm. Yeah. Uh, make, sure, make, sure uh, make sure you have for managed HP is manual. Yeah, and it automatically adds your con mod when you when you level yourself up. Oh, maybe that's that what happened. had probably already yeah. added it in. If it's not set to manual, then, you just have to put yourself, then you'll just have to uh, change the... Yeah. Okay, um, just figure out what it's supposed to be and then just... Change this to should be. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. Uh, sorry, you were taking a level, a second level in fighter. So why don't you go ahead and roll me a D10? Another 10, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so it's all about. Oh. Uh, yeah, I had it on hit point type fixed. Gotcha. Four. Uh, so now what you do is uh, you go to the manage character section where you see your levels. Uh, on your HP, there's the manage HP button. Yep. And then where that, and then where that little fillable icon is, where there's a ten, the rolled HP. Uh, mm -hmm. You add a four to that, so it should be fourteen in there. 
Okay, and then just hit apply. Yep, just hit apply. Cool. There and you go, because it. It, it already adds your comm modifier, so all you have to do is add that four. So you're set. Uh, so what is your uh, max HP now? 20. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, if it is still poking around with the uh, HP? Yeah, yeah, it was set to fixed, so now it's all sorts of messed up. Right. If you just tell me your con mod, I can tell you what it's supposed to be. It was. Fifteen, sixteen is my con. Sixteen is your con? Yeah. Okay, so plus three is. Yeah, and 11 so base. A2 should be 8 16. plus 2 is 10, and then 16. All right. Damn it. Come on, you're fast with me today. Man, I'm, I also Squid. DM a lot. <laughs> there you go. Gee, it's like, it's like I got, we got a room full of veterans. Got a room full of people who uh, DM a whole bunch. No, or I don't do. know. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Jim, do you DM at all? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have. In the past. Not right now. All right, and so that was the first order of business. Second order of business. I need everyone to deafen and mute themselves, except for Kanoa. Oh, cool. Uh, while just everyone else is deafen and mute yourselves, I'll give you guys a thumbs up when we're done. Okay? I'm just going to leave the call. <laughs> just deafen and mute, leave your cameras on. I'll give you all a thumbs up when we're good, okay? Uh, looks like they're deafened. All right. Craven, you go to bed to take your rest. How, how tip, what's a typical sleep for Craven? Like, how well is, like, how good is their, is it a good dream or bad dream typically? How well do they sleep? So, as an elf, he meditates for four hours. He, um, okay. does go into deep meditation. Uh, and tends to to be on like a, a flick awake kind of thing if there's noise or anything. Like since he's used to being out in the woods, he's uh, sensitive to sound. So he's a, he's a light sleeper, I guess. Okay. You don't normally see things during your meditation, but tonight you do see something. As you're in your deep meditation, you begin to see, you, you, if you find yourself in a sort of dream of sorts, where you, you open your eyes and you see a, uh, you see a full moon out in the night and you see the branches that pass by. You go and move around to see what's going on, but you find yourself wrapped. Wrapped into what feels like a tight cloth. And you also feel... You also feel small. You find yourself in a point of view of an infant. You look around to see what's around you. You, Upon look, turning to your left, you, meet, you see a... You see an elvish woman with blonde hair, pointed ears, as she looks down at you with a smile. Looks to be somewhat of a forced smile, as there's also tears around her eyes. Mm. She looks like she's trying to give you a good impression of the current situation, though you don't know what's going on. Uh, you look down towards the other side. You find your, you see a uh, male elf, uh, black hair nodded to the back, uh, points to use with a lighter tone of skin color, Papa. as he seems to be holding, the, seems to be holding the, uh, the reins of the horse that's dragging the cart that you're in. Okay. And you see that he is uh, being paying very close attention to his surroundings looking at every direction that he can as he's going through the night. And as you begin to, uh, as you begin to um, take in this surrounding, you begin to feel tired. 
so you close your eyes. You wake up again. You see the moon again, but the, it's more covered in more branches. You're not moving. And you find yourself on the wet ground. Everything feels wet and you don't like it. You don't feel... You don't feel... The... Female elf near you. So you begin to cry. Mm -hmm. And you turn your head. And you do see her. But you see that there's no light behind her eyes as she looks at you. Uh-oh. You see that there's blood coming out of her mouth. Mm -hmm. And uh, you begin to reach over. You begin to reach over to her and you see that your small little hand has some has some blood on it. You feel something on your face. You wipe it off. There's blood on your face as well. You begin to cry more as this you're in a very uncomfortable situation. You hear a noise like a twig snapping from a footstep. You look back up and you see this tall, thin, looming shadow cover the, cover whatever's left of the moon that's covered by the branches. Look down towards you with these bright red eyes. Uh, a grin similar to the Chester cat with pointed teeth. Oh. As he reaches, begins to reach out towards you with a clawed hand. And that's when you wake up. Oh, hate it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll love. Uh... <laughs> Craven's gonna wake up from that uh, that meditation. Uh, okay. Uh, sweating. Uh, <laughs> high, breathing really hard before like realizing where he is, and then um, just laying back in his uh, resting position, calming himself down. Okay. Ooh. As you take time. All right. And so everyone wakes up from their rest, feeling slightly stronger compared to yesterday. And uh, as you all begin to wake up, each of you are um, are intruded by, in which I'll just, if I click this, this is show to everyone. This will just bring oh. it to everyone's face. You didn't oh, tell me Bond was hot. <laughs> See, this all helps. You are each, <laughs> all of you are each uh, brought up. Our, our Bond comes up to all of you one by one and says, Trasagor wants to see all of you now. Gather your stuff, get to his office, and leaves. All right. Uh, Craven will goes in one ear, out the other, kind of. Uh, not really paying it any mind before it all snaps together at once, and he's like, getting up, getting ready, any excuse to get up and out of the room. And uh, without a word, we'll have gotten ready and started to head out. Uh, Ace is a little groggy from the night before, still, because uh, it was a heavy night of drinking. Gets out of the bathtub and uh, gets his shit on and uh, is, uh, is year round. How do I roll for a hunover? <laughs> no, no, just let me, just let me just be dead. <laughs> okay, roll, roll again. Stop. Stop. Uh, just, just pull over. Just on. Uh, is he around? Uh, uh, yes. You be, you begin to get out of the, you get out of the other uh, the the bath. Uh, they get out of the bath, get into the, sort of the general living space. Are they uh? They gonna need me there right away, or do I have time for breakfast? Because my head hurts. Can you not eat to go? Do we have any nuts? Uh, reaches over to a cabinet, pulls out a. <laughs> I love both of you. <laughs> we factors. We're not nuts. Sorry. Reaches out to a cabinet, pulls a uh a. Uh, a small bag of nut, uh, walnuts and throws it towards you. I will make sure everybody in the party enjoys your nuts. 
Okay, bye. Damn, I kind of want to enjoy Bond's nuts. Holy shit, man. <laughs> Look at him. Yes, yeah, terrifying looking. <clears throat> Who, Bon or, or, or Yi? Oh, Bon. Hold on. Where's Yi? <laughs> Dude, Yi, look at him! <gasps> He's got his badass. own face on his chest plate. <laughs> yep. That's Bond how you know you've made he it. Tracks and Gore is my favorite of all the mm -hmm. art. Which, speaking of which, you guys eventually gather yourselves in Traxagor's uh, office. God damn it. <laughs> like, I, I knew he was an otter, but I didn't realize how silly of an otter it was. He is so cute! And so you guys all summon to Traxagor's yes. office, in which Bon is there with you all. Uh, you see, Chasagor speaks up and says, Well, I don't mean to get you all woken up this early, but it is, a, it is a matter in which I want to discuss with you sooner rather than later. Great. And I see that uh, one of your... Uh, I see that... Uh, Caradwin is taking their time, but I'm sure I'll... Get to them later. Drink themselves under. Yeah, I see Ace is sort of managing himself right now. But that's I'm just like eating nuts. <laughs> <laughs> just do my best. So after your mission yesterday, I've came to realize something. As you all know, we live in a world where everyone's chances are dying or at a very high risk or at a very high percentage. Doesn't matter where you are, whether you are out traveling between places or if you're in the comforts of your home. There is still a, from what I calculate, an 80% chance that you will that you will die from a fiend attack. I have received complaints about, I have received general complaints from around Shania about how I seem to, I, I seem to send our younger, our younger slayers too close to danger too soon. That's why I had you all go on that rat mission. But you know what? I'd like to apologize for sending you to that boring ass mission. You should have been going to what well, I should have sent you initially. And so that is my fault for listening to the public. But you know what to say to that? I say, fuck the public. We are risking our lives to save their butts and they want us to be careful? Why is that? Poppycock! <laughs> it is a load of poppycock. And Bond is like, sir, come. Take it easy. Your heart. This your is heart one is hot nice. otter. No, traps to go off. More like a hotter, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> I should, I should have listened <clears throat> to your guys' critiques. <laughs> Another rat mission. No. <laughs> rats. That's okay. My character's actually just a, a puppet man being controlled by a rat up on his head. So. There you go. All <laughs> oh, just you see, being controlled by him. You see, Bonnet is just like, he's like, he goes over and like, Sir, calm down. Remember, your heart rate isn't as high as an otter. He goes, You're right. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is, it's better for you to get out there as soon as possible, despite the risks of dying at a young age, so we can figure out what the hell is going on and get us solved sooner don't you all agree yes good and also yes. just to get some flag off just to get some flag off my back bond here pick the rat mission and he's just like you see like with the half mask he's on he just looks towards and his eyes widen from betrayal <laughs> <laughs> uh. but he has reported that you were but you he has reported me of your success in the rat mission, and so I think you're ready for your next for your next mission. Bon, 
Get the fuck out. Bye, Bon. Bon just like, bye, bon. with a slight bye, defeat bye. in his eyes, just walks out. <laughs> Bon chance, bon. And so, as I mentioned, there is a mission I would like you all to go on. It takes it is back in Berksley, but from what I've learned is that the smarter, the more deadlier the demons and fiends, the smarter they are, and the more likely they are to speak our language. And so this, what I want you to investigate, will most likely involve a very powerful fiend. Bruxley, once once every couple year, once every couple decades, will go through a rent will go through what seems to be a brief, a brief, uh virus or disease i don't know what it is but every every couple decades say 20 or 30 20 20 or 30 years fuck uh you can tell he's like <laughs> this little, so this little otter mouth can't keep up with his his otter brain i get it maybe the dm is fucking up too that's okay bud that's why you get them big sippies Every couple of decades, every there's two a or three, Every two or three decades, it seems that the children of Berksley, at least half of them, come down to a disease. It seems to only affect the children. Where they, go, where they seem to go to bed one night, not wake up, and then after, and then in a few days, die from lack of nutrients, and they can't seem to wake up. Hmm. Your job is to go up to Bursley, figure out this madness, and put it into it. As I mentioned, it will probably be, it will probably be caused by a very powerful fiend. Give me a sec here. When you, if, or when you do find this fiend that is in, that is in relation to what's going on at Bursley, before you kill it, I want you to figure, try to get it to explain why the fuck fiends are in Shania. If we can figure that, if we can figure, if you could get information on why it is that they're here, we can begin to further investigate how to stop it. But we can't do anything unless we know why they're here. Do we have any information so, uh, based on from the many years that the hunters have been hunting fiends? What do we already know? Well, from what I've... And you see, uh, he turns around and you look behind him and you see there's a board of, like, pieces of paper. <laughs> conspiracy board. <laughs> <laughs> yes, conspiracy board, essentially. With, with lots of, like, yarn strings going back and forth between things. Love that. Essentially. <laughs> From what I could gather, I figured out, I managed to figure out how it is that they got here. They got here through portals. They got here, they seem to get here through portals, from what I gather, to be from hell. <clears throat> and this can't be just a coincidence. There has to be a motive why it is that they're here. So, as I mentioned, I know why, I know how they got here, but why it is specifically, I do not know. I know that the demons that are out, demons are the more blunt, should I put it. They're the ones that cause the most destruction. Those I'm pretty sure are more likely just sent out to do whatever they want. But there are certain, there are devils, they're the more cunning, the smarter type of fiends. If they're here, there has to be a reason. And I am a smart and I am a smart well, used to be half elf. I'm a smart otter who knows how to cast spells. 
And yet, I do not know how to speak their language. No matter how many times I've gone out and investigated, all I get back is... <laughs> and I do not understand what they're saying. Kravan will, will give a little look at uh, Adira for just a, a quick moan there before Same. paying back attention. <laughs> and so, I would like you all, again, more likely, this may be a demon or fiend or whatever, is behind whatever is going on in Berksley with the children. Figure out how to put a stop to it. If it is a fiend, gather information before killing it. So uh, Dale's just been kind of leaning against the back wall, uh, looking again much like Frank, and uh, says, You know, so when we get to Berksley again, do you have someone we should speak to there? Or should we just start wandering the streets and uh, asking questions to everybody? No, you will go and find Durnley, the head of the guard in Berksley. He will take you to where you need to you need to speak to. Durnley. Ah, very well. All right, let's go. All right. <clears throat> Let me know what you find. <laughs> this may be a multi-day mission, so take a room at the tavern. It's half price for it's half price for slayers. Yes, we will make sure to put everything on your tab. Got it. I don't have money. Thanks, <laughs> Pantagor. All right. And so you guys leave Praxagor's office. Okay. And uh, um, as you... Yes, Ace? Uh, just real quick, I'm going to turn to uh, Adira and be like, where did you, where did you learn how to talk like them? I learned the language when I was young. I've known it just about as well as I could speak common. Right, and who taught you? My family. How, how did they learn how to speak it? If there's a story behind it, I don't know. Right. If you speak it as well as you speak common, we're going to need you to start making a dictionary for everyone here. <laughs> I can try. I can try and teach you guys. That is something I think would be invaluable to the entire Slayer organization. <laughs> I can talk to Traxagor about holding a conference when we're back. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we'll charge for it. Like, you don't do it out of the kindness of your heart. Make them, you know, if you're good at something. <laughs> as long as I get most of the profits. Man, nah, man. Nah. Who is your family? I'm the one. I'm the one doing the work here. I'm the teacher. It is a good question, you say, why? Why? 40 years since they have not figured out how to speak this language. 40 years they've been doing this demon slaying thing. I feel that our superiors are quite incompetent at what they do. But, eh, we shall see, I suppose. I mean, we just found out Adira can speak their whole goddamn language, but have they tapped her for that? Of course not. That's why I'm saying they are incompetent, but we will see. I didn't tell them that I can speak Infernal. You guys were the first to learn. I I was shocked. You learned it from your family. Who are they? We can get into that when we get back from the mission. It's a long story. Hmm. Fair enough. So be it. I'm learning very quickly. We have to keep Adira alive more than anybody else could be the key to saving the world. So keep that in mind in battle. <laughs> I will leave you all to die for it, Adira. What was that? <laughs> you're, you're in death's door with two failed death saves? Oh, I'm sorry. Adira has a hangnail. I gotta take priority. <laughs> Adira can speak the language. Uh... 
Yeah, the smart ones also right, apparently see. speak our language. That is also true. <laughs> what was the name of the guard we were supposed to be? Dunley? Is that, is that it? Dunley. Dunley. Thank you, God. You're welcome. <laughs> are we? Uh, are we? On the cart, on our way, kind of thing. Or are we traveling? Uh, or are yeah, we you guys are making your way to the gate where you get your cart. Uh, you see, um, you see, actually, you actually see uh, we use we usually see Frank out near the uh, the gate. You actually see uh, Akabak, your uh, half work uh, blacksmith. Okay. And um, he turns to you all and says. Off on your next mission already? You yes. know when you're good. I've been meaning to ask, how did your weapons handle after your first fight? The, the, the strip of paper still intact? I looked at... <laughs> I looked at you and see, because you're the only one I think... They'll use two and ham. Uh, they'll also pop somebody with that radiant, but okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Craven just kind of like he just looks at his bow for a minute and says, "It looks fine. I don't particularly remember using it." Is that a side effect? Do you go feral? Does everybody go feral? I did not seem to. I don't remember I, using I, it. I, I get uh, to a rage every now and then. <laughs> it's just the heat of the moment. Clearly, clearly wasn't asking Akabak. <laughs> <laughs> I get around. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Was there anything else you need, Akabak? We are in a hurry, I think. No, I just wanted to double check to make sure that there have been instances where new recruits go out on their mission and something happens. So I just wanted to make sure mm. that everything was good for you all. Akabak. I saw in the city some people walking with leather that had studs in it. He says, could you do that? Leather with studs. I should be able to do that. It will take me a couple days. Excellent. I'll have some payment when I get back. I can let you know the price once I finish making it. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> that's that. That's Kanoa's point of view. If the if it's he, if he's still out there. Oh, that's <laughs> Kanoa. Kanoa, you're at fault here. You're still staring at the otter. Oh man. <laughs> Arkabuck, what's up, homie? God damn, dude, chill out. Holy shit. That is the most goth vampire fucking. Listen, I can only nod one chat. <laughs> You have an entire conversation. You were just daydreaming about Tragzigor. Yeah, dude, the whole time. <laughs> you just came into view. Is oh. that a nipple stand now? I don't even know. Good God. That can't be healthy. He's dehydrated. Yeah. Mm -mm. Get this man water. Let me get Akabak a fucking bottle of water. We're all we're thirsty out. out here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Christ. Mm. <laughs> Take a, take a needle of that, man. He's gonna fucking pop. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and he goes, well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold you off any longer for saving the day. Good luck! And turns around and leaves. I have a buck. I have a buck. Alright. And so you guys get on your cart, make your way down. Uh from the Slayer's Post to Berksley. I would like someone, whoever's taking charge of this journey, even though it's the safest path, safest footpath, you can still run into it. I need someone to roll me 2d8. 
Oh, I will. I will. I will. Okay. There we go. Roll. Okay, I'm just say there we go. There we go. Mm. One and six. six. Okay. Uh, a six. A, a six. A six and a one. They don't match. Safe journey. And so you guys head on down and find yourselves back at Berksley, in which allow me to show you all what it looks like. We got a picture of Berksley too. Your oh, boy took tight. your critiques to heart. <laughs> I will say right now. Character images are a big plus. Rat boys. Huge. I love that it says rat boys. That is so fun. <laughs> uh, did it not show for everyone? Or I'm still um, seeing I have the no... shouldn't. Okay. Gotcha. I got okay. seen the map. Got okay, so apparently it doesn't work as I expect. Okay. There. <laughs> uh, Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty. <laughs> so a river pretty. runs through it, eh? of canals it looks like uh berksley is known to be uh being berksley not only being known for like the the mostly human uh city it's also more known for its farming and uh uh agriculture welcome to the rice fields motherfucker <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> somebody is thinking the same thing <laughs> around these hmm. so those uh rice fields a good place to hide bodies you see they turn into a fertilizer. <laughs> but I wouldn't know anything about this. No. <laughs> but if they're big or they're heavy, you know, they might stick out. How deep are they? Oh, they're pretty deep in places. You just have to find the right spot. And rocks help, too. It keeps them from float. I mean, as I said, I, want, I don't you know, know you're terrifying this. right now. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> just know that's where all the guards are winding up. <laughs> I think we're just like skipping. We're all like skipping arm in arm talking about this shit to Berksley. <laughs> <laughs> Mass genocide. Who wants to do it? <laughs> On our way there. So, Go ahead. Yep. I don't know. You were saying something, sorry. No. Oh. On our way there, um, Craven will, will mention uh, this disease is reappearing every 20 to 30 years. Mm. Which means it's at least been going on for a couple of cycles, 60 or so years. That means whatever we're looking for is nearby, relatively consistently, old, and punctual. Mm. It could be a good lead to finding what we're looking for. Perhaps a creature that wakes up out of a hibernation every 20 to 30 years. Perhaps a ritual brought out by some elder in humanoid skin every so often. To re re I am itself. confused about one thing, though. You see, uh, this big demon portal thing, they say 40 years ago. But disease happen every 20, 30 years. So maybe it's not demon we are looking for. Maybe it's something else. Perhaps a person associated with the demons. Just because the portals opened 40 years ago doesn't mean people haven't been dabbling with them before that. Indeed. Uh, I guess, Kunzi, is there anything, uh, you know, like astronomical that happens every so often? Like, well, every 30 years, there's a Mercedes comet or anything like wild like that. Is there anything um, that like chimes in that would be like a 30 year event? Not that you can think of. Okay. The Tricentennial Rice Festival, of course. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out okay. it's scurvy. Um, okay. And so you guys uh, get yourselves into Berksley, and along the way you eventually do find... Um, okay, apparently... No, okay. Not me, then, I guess. I guess I set something wrong here for all of them, so I'll just have to manually do this. Meh. There. Uh, you guys eventually find uh, Dernley. What the fuck? Wow. Dernley's hot, too? He is a very hot <laughs> man. He's fucked up. 
<laughs> we left that guy with a corpse last time we saw him. Why are they all hot? Oh no, they're hot. Hey, hey yo. <laughs> hey yo. We are gonna get nothing done. <laughs> that goes my whole week. <laughs> you guys want a cares heart? You got it. I can't control their hotness though. It's a lot harder to be rude to all these NPCs if they're going to be hotties, you know. It's pretty fucked up. Maybe that's why I did it. Suddenly, <laughs> it's the big brain respect. move from Kunzi. <laughs> can't be mean to hot people, right? <laughs> it's just true. Not possible. It's got me this far. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow. And so, uh, eventually find Dernley, uh, which you've met yesterday when he got you all through the, uh, the rat mission. Hmm. Here we That's are true. again. Mm. Welcome back. Does it still smell in his office? Oh. Uh... You definitely get a little hint of dead rat coming, a dead rat smell coming off of him. <laughs> Love it. He probably does not look happy to see us. Just gonna put up our little cloth mask, our little black <laughs> bandit looking mask for a minute and continue on. You should really do something about the smell in here. Ugh. Yeah. I already like took, a... I already took three baths and it's still not coming off strong. No, it's in, it's in the room. Yeah. It's. I have not gone in there for a couple of days. I left the wind. I went and only went in there once to open the windows, and then I was told to close them. <laughs> yeah. Like a fart in a cart, it just never truly goes away. Except this is not a fart. This is yeah. something diabolical. Yeah, yeah, it was worse. <laughs> well. So, can I help you with anything? Are you looking for something? Yes. We were sent. Trexagor asked us to take care of a disease that appears every 20 to 30 years. Said you'd have more information. Yes. Um, as you probably already mentioned, um, once in a while, every couple of years, once in a while, uh, this is this is only the this is the first time for me that I'm actually seeing this. Um, but I've been told tales about you know a brief time where. There'll be children, there'll be, there'll be lines of children in the hospital, all asleep, unable to wake up, in which they essentially just sleep to death from not being able to eat or drink. We try to, uh, they, they've been trying, the doctors have been trying to figure out for so long, and we've, we've had clerics come in, but that even they don't know what's causing it. They they sense it's nothing. It's they they have they have said it's something that's not natural, but like they've yet to figure out the source of it. So there's already a few children that have succumbed to it. Let me show you. Follow me. Yeah, we follow them to the dead kids. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, and so <laughs> enthusiastically, yeah. I. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You guys are taken over to sort of the medical center of Berksley. It's one of the bigger buildings um, in which if it weren't for what's going on now, most of the people you would see in here are people who uh, have taken grave injuries from uh, from attacks. And so you guys are brought in, in which you see, um, in one of, in basically one of the main rooms in which there's rows of beds. You can see, um, of like, let's see, there's two row, there's two rows in which each one, in which each one is about like, each one's five beds long. Um, both sides already have three filled. In which uh, you can see, you know, the child. You can see the children that are laying in the bed, sleeping, um, unconscious. Some are looking like, some are looking fine, you know, as if they're just resting, just resting. While some of them are beginning to look a little thin, a little dehydrated. And then there's like one bed in which you see one of the doctors uh, takes a blanket, just covers the child completely. 
as you see like a couple being to uh you see a couple sort of embrace each other and one of them is crying And you see, uh, Dernley says, If only this stayed in the tales I was told, didn't come back, didn't come back to real life. What are the tales that you were told? Maybe there's some kind of information. You know, there's some say that, you know, there's like, there's some sort of like there, there's the boogeyman or something, but the, the the boogeyman or somehow you know don't let the back buds bite, but so nobody's every, seen it. Every house is always every house is always yearly checked for bed bugs in which none exist. Um, can we see inspect one of the children? Uh, yeah, so let me just, uh, is, uh, t uh, is Day here? In which, uh, you see one of the doctors turns around, uh, one of the, one of the cloaked figures, uh, turns to all of you. Let me just do this real quick. You see this... <laughs> Hey, I can't control the hotness, okay? Goodness. If they deem hot, I can't argue. <laughs> you have to put not hot in the AI generator. In the description. <laughs> just like, the just computers, like the of computers have only figured out hot people. Just just put at the very end, also not hot. <laughs> also it's like, not hot. I feel like we're playing a Final Fantasy game right now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <sighs> you see, uh, this, there's a, this, uh, person comes up, so it says, <sighs> Hey, Durley, is this important? Uh, they got, got a bit of a situation here. And he goes, uh, yes, uh, these are, these are some of the newest slayers, and they're here to investigate what's going on here. And you see, he goes, uh, well, hello, nice to meet you. I am... A Murlosk Day. I am the head head doctor of this facility. And you see a dirty says, uh, but not but, but not for too long, right? This is the first you've seen it as well? Yes. Sadly, this is also for the first for me. Well, I've been you... but I've been caught up with what people have said has happened in the past. And so I'm trying to get I have an understanding and I'm just trying to process it while also trying to make sure try to comfort every parent here hi um my name is Ace uh was there any information on linking these children no it just seems to be random they don't all live on the same block they don't go to the same school I mean, there's only one school here, so this is... Okay, see, there's a link. You know, we're learning things. <laughs> I and appreciate the thought, but I'm, but it seems that in general, everything is sort of random. You know, not to some, not it's, it's always a different street, different different section of the city. It just seems to be random. Are they different ages, significantly? <sighs> It, it seems to range between uh, the I, the oldest we have seen is about twelve. As what it does the there. youngest? Youngest five or six. Okay, so it's not everyone within an age range. Are they just observing wise? Are they human? I yes, they're all human. Um, have they all died or succumbed to this? Has there been any survivors or anyone to come through? From what I've been told, every child that's come under it 
doesn't come back. And it's only uh, been children afflicted? No adults? No adults. Only been children under the age of 13. How do you examine them in such a way as to find any peculiar markings of them? We we do a full we do a full look around the body, uh, in which let me show you, and uh, takes you to one of the uh, children in the bed, in which seems the parents have uh, the parents are not there. Maybe they've taken a break from being there, or they're both busy at the moment. But for now, it's just a child at the bed. He goes take take this child for example, um, and you see a uh, a you see a uh, small human girl, looks to be around nine years old. Uh, and he goes, we examine, we've examined all around all parts of the body, and there there's no no unusual marks, scratches, anything. Do you mind there any effects as well? Yes, Perhaps please. we're looking Go ahead. for more subtle changes. Yeah. Could I try to other? perceive yeah. or yeah. Uh, anyone or medicine? Anyone, or wants, it... anyone wants to try to make a uh, medicine check? Go ahead. Yeah, I'll try that. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna check for like fang teeth, uh, uh, checking the ears, yep. kind of thing, and I'll see if anything's crawled in there. Okay. Oh, come on, medicine, don't fail me now. Yeah, please. <laughs> well, it's not great, but it's better than nothing. I failed it really good. Oh, by the way, uh, mm -hmm. before I forget, um, everyone's hero point counter, everyone now has six hero points. Perfect. Cool. Okay. Forgot to mention that. Um, Ace, you examine. You don't seem to notice anything out of the ordinary um craven you check around uh no no out of sort of body more no no out of sort of body more snow like sudden pointing teeth pointed teeth or changing of ears or changing anything so it's not changing the child in doesn't seem to be morphing the child um for a deer in veil um Obviously, all of you, obviously, all of you know this, the, uh, the sort of beginning stages of, um, of lack of nutrients. You see the body looks a little thinner than it should be, uh, looking a little lean, but, um, <laughs> Vale and Adir, you, you, you take a little bit of investigation around the, 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 the face, uh, you peel back. Uh, the eyes and eyes look fine, but when you, um, there seems to be a dullness behind the eyes, as if, as if like the child is sleeping but no one's home. Like cataracts. Like children. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> well, I think I brought him in. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's, so yeah, it, it, the, that's the best way you can describe it is that, you know, yeah, it's like the child, the child is sleeping, but it seems like the, the child is physically present, but it sounds like, but it also seems like they're just not there mentally or in other forms. Hmm. Have you tried any measures to wake the children up? We have, yes. Uh, we've tried. We've tried healing them. We've tried. We've tried thaumaturgy. Uh, we've tried. Um, that was mostly that was Traxagor's idea to try to be as loud as possible, but that didn't work. <laughs> Are there any other effects, anything else that's happening with them? Do they sleepwalk in the middle of the night? Everybody screams at some point, like anything 
out of the ordinary other than just sleep. Um, nothing else, just sleep. Well, if we're getting no kind of indication of what might be the source of this here, perhaps we should ask around town. Ace is going to walk up. You said the parents of the uh, dead child are they're weeping? They're weeping, yes. Yeah. Uh, Ace is going to walk up to them and uh, he's going to reach into his pocket and pull out a small piece of, piece of cloth and mm -hmm. he's going to uh, cast light on it. Okay. And he's going to offer it to them as he walks up and say blessing of the Raven Queen to you. As he uh, offers to them, my condolences. Uh, you see, the wife is still crying, and the crying is sort of in the chest of the uh, the, the husband. As he just he takes it, he takes it while he's still you know comforting her. Thanks. We're we're gonna need it. Yeah. Well, um, your child is traveling with my goddess um we're gonna do our best to figure out what's happened here make sure it doesn't happen to the rest of these children i was just wondering were they fine the day before was anything new no there was the day before was they were healthy, they were normal, they were fine. And then we woke up the we woke up the next morning. I went over, thought, you know, they overslept. They wouldn't wake up. Any new friends or anything you can think that was out of character for them? I think there was this one boy that they met a couple of days ago. It was around her age. Uh, she mentioned about meeting them a couple of days ago before they went to sleep. Did you, uh, you get a name? Or what was uh, fun about them? No, but we we got a description. Uh, but we've been told that he's a uh, small a small boy with brown hair. Okay. Uh, brown hair, brown eyes, a little bit, a little bit, tiny bit of tan to the skin. Okay. Anything? Anything fun about him that your daughter mentioned? Not from what I can recall. Okay. It could be nothing. It could be everything. Or where? Just know that. Know that. Me and my friends here are slayers, and we're gonna look into this until it's resolved. You know, it seems like maybe we should ask some of the other parents if there was this boy with brown hair. Like the brown skin, it, it, this is a common connection between these children, and it is something we need to look at. Yes. Hmm. Are there other parents here? Maybe listening in. Um. Would the we parents. Ask uh, oh, it seems the parents that are here uh, seem to be more focused on. Uh, they, they're either sitting next to their child or talking with the other parents, but it doesn't seem that they're paying attention to you guys. Everybody want to split up and take a pair? Sounds like a good idea. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, brown uh, hair, brown uh, eyes, uh, tan skin. Yeah. Why don't people 
make uh, investigation checks. Because I have negative one in it. <laughs> so good at that. I just rolled a four, so like I get that. <laughs> I got zero. Zero. <laughs> zero. Three <laughs> zero. I just say no. You're like, why don't we all split up and do that? No. I leave, I guess. <laughs> why don't we search for clues? <laughs> I look at the ground and, and mope. <laughs> Fuck. And, and you mope very well. <laughs> In fact, not, not even a well little anymore. bit of investigation. <laughs> you mope so well that at one point one of the doctors comes up to you and asks if one of if one of your bro one of your brothers or sisters happens to be one in the beds. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, and carry on. Uh, wow, Craig, two fours. Craig is just talking to a wall. Yeah, we're we're great at investigation. <laughs> What's our uh, highest Vail one? A twelve. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Vale and Adira, you guys begin to approach people but then a part of you is like i'm not sure if i want to talk to them with where their current state is maybe i should just leave them be and don't really actually get into investigation you're just more of like let's just leave them be as for ace uh i'm guessing you sort of do the same through everyone else you've got a piece of paper cast light and give it to them okay uh during this you investigate uh they all say the same thing where their child met uh, this small brown haired boy um, but they don't know but they don't know where he lives they know that he's he is in Ber he lives in Berksley but they don't know where he is I appreciate your help and may the blessing of the Raven okay. Queen be on you And, you know, they all appreciate you for giving the offer. And eventually you guys come back, meet each other. So there's definitely a connection, at least with the parents that I spoke to, with the uh, this brown-haired, brown-eyed, tan child. They all seem to meet them a few days before this kicks off. Now I think maybe we can go maybe to the one school because apparently there's only one school and uh, maybe talk to some of the other kids and see if they've heard of or spoken about his child see if anybody ah. know where he's from it's a good start That's a good idea yeah. i can also keep a lookout put me somewhere i'm gonna high. look at veil gonna... could you be a child Eh, um, I could be not shy. A no. tall 12 year old? Maybe I could. Yes, I could, yes. Uh, give I'll me a few minutes. Let's go find some place very inconspicuous and I will hide for a minute and see what I can do. Yes? Mm -hmm. We Talk should get our room, anyways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, and if we bring a kid, then I think you're half off. So. <laughs> You're the half off. <laughs> Why is a six year old a slayer? <laughs> Bring your kid to work day. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I had two, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a rough day. <laughs> mm. Yeah, um. Let's go to the tavern. We get our half off room, put it on Trixagor's bill, and uh, enjoy our time in the town, baby. I think um, Kravan is also going to find like a high point, maybe roof access somewhere. Somewhere you can kind of just sit out and observe passerbys in the town and see if anyone fits the description. And that'll be his, like, default idling location, just waiting, seeing if someone pops by. So he can just yell okay. to everyone else, like, hey, go fucking, there's one. Go see if you can talk to this kid. Okay. Um. And you're doing this while everyone's getting the rooms? We're just getting the rooms, or after we get the room, he'll just, like, pop out the window and climb on the roof or something. Okay. Uh, 
Make me a uh, perception check. It's your time to shine, perception. 15. Believe in you. Stop, Tara. A little under average by one. Um... You look outside, um, and you, and you see that whatever children are healthy, you know, they're still still out and about, um, you know, playing with each other or being, like, close to their parents. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's, it's living life. And, um, you, you, you take a, you take a little profile of each of the children out there. But you don't see one that quite matches the description of uh, the child that you were given. We'd also be looking for um, perhaps homeless children, even if they aren't fitting the description. Um, people who would possibly not be in that school pretty much is what he's looking for. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this town has any homelessness at all, but if it's a city, I kind of assume there would be some, so... Um, yeah, you do, you do, uh, catch, like, you do catch a, you do catch a homeless child or two. Uh, homelessness isn't really, uh, homelessness is not necessarily the problem. It's, uh, it's, it's, it, most kids you see that don't, that don't look like they have parents, mostly are probably from the, uh, orphanage that's mm -hmm. in Berksley. That's another lead, but, baby. You look, you look around the kids to see, uh, but one or two, but doesn't look like they meet the, the, the but not meet the description of this boy. I guess we'll pop back in and um, mention that. Okay, so he okay. pops back in and mentions, um, if the, if not the school. Some of the children are unattended from the parents, perhaps an orphanage. Oh. Um, thinking, th just thinking back to the hospital, did all the kids look like they were of like a certain economic standing? Like, were they well off or were they, um, were, it, did they it, all have it, shoes? <laughs> uh, they, they all had shoes, yes. And <laughs> Some in, in which they have various conditions, but you don't think that it's not targeting a specific um, demographic. Demographic. Okay. Sure it just seems it just seems to go after children in general. Yeah, I mean, we could start at the orphanage or the school, or if one doesn't pan off, go to the. Hmm. Good eye. How's uh, how's your twelve-year-old transformation going? Forget I posted a, a picture in the Discord. You? If you guys want to take a look at it, yeah. Um, so see, yeah, it's a it's like a twelve, thirteen-year-old ish girl with black hair and pale skin, uh, kind of ragamuffin looking. Um, uh, had to uh, make make some adjustments to the clothing to make it fit. Um, but uh, yeah, this is uh, um, a mask that Vale uses sometimes that goes by the the name of Twist. <sighs> Twist, twists, yes. like Triss, but with a lisp, but with with, with a W, yes. Yeah. <laughs> or twist without the last T. Indeed, maybe. All right, so guys, you you want to go um, out to the school now? I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, the, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> you good, Ace? <laughs> I'm gonna... I'll lead. <laughs> it's very off-putting. <laughs> you were Frank five minutes ago, you know? I mean, I have to match the voice to the, to, to the mask. See, if I talk like Frank and look like this, well, that wouldn't be very good, would it? I mean, yeah, you know, you're right. I didn't think about it. When you're right, you're right. Up, but, yeah, <laughs> you, you did good. 
Um, what sh- what should we call you? Uh, call me a uh, twist. Twist. Got it. Okay. Twist. Um, okay. Are we going to the school first or orphanage first? Vote. Either one's fine with me. I mean, I'm, I know my way around. What well, if I like, act as Twist's parent so they're not like a child wandering alone? And so it doesn't look weird that we're just like walking with a child? Oh my god, here. I put out my hands. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. How about this? Um, uh, let's just say that I met this boy with brown hair and brown eyes, and he was so charming, and I really want to find him again. Y'all are helping me find him. Works. I can't stand by this. No. <laughs> as, a, as a father with daughters, I will not help you find a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. My yes, and let's go. <laughs> <laughs> good improv. Good improv. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep my distance from that. Uh, <laughs> I'll trail behind everybody by a good 20, 30 feet. I'll skip. Yeah, skip ahead. All right. So the marching order is uh, what? Vale and Ace going to uh, what, the school cool. or the orphan? Let's go to school first. We talk to teachers and stuff there students okay let's figure it out all right and then with uh as for adira and uh craven trailing behind them 20 30 feet keeping an eyeball out for potentially anyone watching us or the kid anyway if it's just keep an eye on an eye on twist and if anyone tries to approach sounds good okay that's Um, right we can send them off on their own to be approached by a demon. <laughs> a demon just approaches and then just it kind of turns back into Vale, like, bitch, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And so, um, all right. So it's, it's about that time of the day. It's later in the day where the kids are being released from classes as the end of the day. Um, and you guys go and you see, uh, you see the children as they're, you know, children coming out of the buildings, um, with like one or two adults that come out that seem to be, that look to be the, the, uh, the teachers there. Um, you see kids, I either, uh, either kids are going to, or running to their parents or kids are just running off either home or to the orphanage, but it's the end of the day and seeing the kids are just scattered. Eyes out for a brown haired, brown eyed boy. Okay. Uh, With tan skin. Tan skin. With tan skin. Um, why don't Ace and Vil make uh, stealth checks for me? Or one of you, each of you can make a stealth check, or one of you can do it with advantage. Oh, that's, that's you. That's good. That'd probably be me. <laughs> <laughs> Not it. <laughs> Sixty. Sixty. Okay. Uh, no one finds you two suspicious. You two seem to be just another little family in Bursley. And um, all right. So why don't anyone who wants to make perception checks make perception checks? My heavily armored blue dad. Are we making perception checks? Yes. Yeah. I actually have a good perception. I just can't roll for shit. Yeah. Ooh, as you go. Akira. Oh, thank God, Adira. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. You speak an <laughs> show. Uh, <laughs> bring it back. Um, so... Yeah, all of you looking around, uh, there's a lot uh, for Ace, Vale, and Creven. There's a lot of kids here. Uh, 
as you, you like you see kids and you think maybe that fits the profile and then they're too far from view or they disappear from your view oh, shit oh maybe this one up oh, no, they're gone too um what about that one? Oh wait that's black hair um but for Adira, as the kids are scattering uh you notice there is there's one kid that didn't come from the school you see there's one kid sort of hiding in an alleyway uh watching all the kids leave the school reconnect with their parents um and with that 20 brown hair brown eyes slightly tan skin can i like point him out to the rest of the group be like hey guys look over here uh i'll say i'll say uh since Craven's the only one near your Craven, you'll notice Adira's uh, point. I'm just like, I'm just like tapping Craven's shoulder and like just pointing in a direction, mm -hmm. not saying anything. Just like, look. Right. Don't lose sight of them. Look at the others. Oh, then he'll rush off to get the others. <laughs> and I'll mosey forward <laughs> towards Ace, hoping that they are not losing eye contact on that kid. And I'll yeah, I'll just keep. The tabs on the kid. I won't like try and go near him. I'll, I'll just wait where I am and keep an eye on him. Tip, 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 tap, tip. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Walk up, Ace, and he'll kind of head motion and say, "Adira saw them alleyway. Someone close fits the description. Saw them. Holy shit! Didn't come from the school. Was waiting outside." Well, I guess I should just stare directly at them. Let's mosey and walk away from the school. Come with Where me, my I child. Go I'll go talk to him. Where is he? Head, head towards the alleyway. He says, good luck. And he'll go back towards Adira. All right. Yeah, I'll split, this, I'll this split off from you if you want, or do you want me to come with you? I just, just keep an eye, you know, just keep an eye out. Alright, I so, won't be just, I won't walk with you up to the kid, but I'll be close by. Okay. Alright. Okay, so all right, so Vale's going to approach the child. Ace is going to be a little ways away. Uh Craven and Deer, are you two still keeping your distance? Just enough to keep an eye at a distance, is what I think. Okay. Yep, enough if I had to shoot a demon child with a bow, you know? You know, just whatever, whatever, whatever you person does. <laughs> I'm right. just, just at the last second uh, before I depart from um, my good friend here, I'm going to cast Guidance on them. Okay, good to know. Um, okay, so Vale, you head over to the alley in which you see, um, let me bring him up here. But you see this, um, yeah, it, you see this uh, essentially. You see this kid who looks to be about ten years old, um, wearing uh, a ten-year-old kid, brown hair, brown eyes. Um, you would uh, maybe one of your first first thoughts while going to this kid is you're thinking, you know, maybe it's maybe it's an orphan who couldn't who somehow couldn't get into school whether it's just couldn't afford it or whatever um but you get up to and you, you get a little peek at the you see a little bit of their clothes and they're not tattered or dirty they look clean hmm. style wise does their clothing match with everybody else or does it look like they're they're not quite like like like, like they're really old style or something they don't oh, even go here. um <laughs> It, it 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 definitely looks a little bit more uh it definitely looks a little more refined it looks a little more um kept uh def def a little more uh is uh you what's your passive uh insight uh 12. 12 uh you take a look you you look at the clothes uh, to look examination, they look to be made of a finer, uh, a finer material. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I'll I will approach, and uh, I'll be like, I'll say, uh, oh, hi there, 
a fella? I'm Twist. What's, what's your name? I don't think I've seen you around here before. Hey, so he looks a little startled for a minute. I didn't see you there. Oh, uh, hi. Um, I've never seen you around. Yeah, I'm pretty new in town, but I, I've been making my way around, you know, meeting people. I like meeting people. Well, uh, like I said, my name's Twist. What's your name? Make a, uh, make a deception check for me. And you, I make sure I roll d4 afterwards to add to it. Okay. Due to, uh, Ace's guidance. Love to see it. <laughs> Fuck! I mean, god Yeah, that's a 29, I guess. Jesus! Good job, Vale. <laughs> Yeah, he, 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 the, the, he, you seem to catch the good, the child's good side, definitely. Um, as he, uh, he says, oh, well, uh, right, nice to meet you. Um, give me a sec here. Eh. My name is Tolkar. That kid needs to die. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why does he need to die? It's, he's clearly horrible. It's cute. Well, well Tolkar, do, do, do you go to this school here? Uh, no, I, I don't go to the school. I'm, um, I'm, I'm homeschooled. Oh, and where do you live? I live, I live right over there. Actually, I, I, I was an orphan for a long time, but then this nice fella, uh, uh, you know, took me in and has been bringing me to school every day, at least recently here. But, um, but, but yeah, where, where do you, whereabouts do you live? Uh, I, I live in a, uh, it's kind of embarrassing to say, but I live, I live with, uh, I'm, I'm one of the children of the rulers of Berksley. Uh, in case you didn't know, uh, the family is the, uh, the, the Madonu family. Oh. Which, uh, oh. Vale, you are, Vale, you are familiar with the last name of Madonu. Okay. Oh, why? Um, well, that's, that's quite something, isn't it? I mean, what brings you out here then all by yourself like that? Aren't you, aren't you afraid of being noticed or somebody doing something? I, I don't know. I mean, what, why, why, what do you, what are you, what are you doing out here then? Well, it's just, you know, I'm sort of not allowed to leave the house, especially with I it's even I've been told that something has been going on with the What's children. It? Oh, I heard something about that. Yeah. What do you know about it? Uh, just just that. um Kids like me die in their sleep. Hmm. I know. I heard that too. That's really something. That'd be kind of scary. I mean, I wonder why that's happening. But do you, but I've heard rumors that there is something that I've heard. I've heard strangers talk that. Um, I've heard that it doesn't get. I've heard that. Um, not all the children. It just seems a majority of. It seems like a. a, a it seems a majority of children fall upon this and eventually just stops. You know, the adult, the, the children would either would stay or become adults and make families here. And, but it just seems. It just. It doesn't. It doesn't happen to all the children, from what I've been. From what I've heard, my. Uh, with what I heard uh, Dad mention about it. I see. So, so being that you're you're from one of the, the noble houses, I guess it is. What, what, what do you? What's life? What's life like that? I mean, what do you? What do you all do for fun? Uh, well, well, for me, I'm the se I'm the second child, so I don't get as much of the attention, but uh, I still get. Some of the basic benefits my brother gets. I think as I'm talking to this kid, I'd like to look in his eyes. And, you know, we noticed earlier with the kids, their eyes it seemed like something was gone. I want to see if there's 
something about this kid, about his eyes, if there's something like behind his eyes that, that, okay. that maybe seems odd. Make a perception or insight. Wow. Now you're rolling good. Um, <laughs> note to self, Veil works better alone. Um, <laughs> um, you, you look at their eyes. You just look beyond the eyes. You see the, the, that, the, 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 the spoken light that's behind people's eyes uh, is, is there. It is present. Okay. And for me, you can tell this child looks healthy. No problems. <laughs> while you're do while you're making that examination, having this conversation, um, Ace, Adira, and Craven, what are what are yours guys's uh, passive perceptions? Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Mine is also sixteen. Two sixteens and an eighteen. Uh, both of you begin to notice um, two guards are you see there are two guards that are going around to uh uh children uh asking uh uh for uh seems to be asking children for some about something fawn with your 18 uh you hear the guards asking if 18. they have seen if hmm? hmm what was that did you say fawn uh adira Yes, you. I'm I'm not the 18. I'm a 16. Oh, are all of you 16s? I think we're all three 16s. Yeah. To have an 18 okay. passive perception, I don't even think that's actually possible for us right now. This like one of us had expertise in it. That is a fair point. Well, you can you can still have you know you get you can still have like well not at this level. Um, fair point. Uh, so 16s all around. Um, all of you. Uh. All of you get, you don't hear much of what they say, but you did get the words of scene and brown hair. I'll uh, just kind of look over to Adira and say, it looks like the guards are trying to find the kid as well. What should we do? Hmm. We need to make sure we have enough time for Vale to get whatever information they need. Let's hope they're fast talkers. Let's hope so. I know, he'll prepare to intercept if the guards are going that way, or like seem like they would get closer uh, to where their conversation is happening. He's, um... He's... He's gonna That's do what he can blast it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, all right. You keep it so you guys keep an eye on that. Uh, let's go back to Vale. So, the, so now this is the notice. You notice the light behind their eyes, so they're healthy and all that. Yeah. So, what is it you're doing out here right now? I mean, you want to go, uh, uh, get some food or something? I'm kind of hungry. I haven't had anything to eat all day. Well, it's just that. Again, I'm not supposed to be out. And uh, I'm current. I'm I'm waiting. There's there's guards that come by here that usually work. That usually look for me. Um, and so I'm just waiting for them to pass by before I can consider popping out and see if there's any of the children. If there's any any other uh, kids out there who want to do stuff with me, because I don't have a lot of friends. I see. And what what uh, what is it you normally do with the other kids? I mean, is there games you play or something? You know, we we play some of the favorites favorite games here and favorite games in the town, like uh, like hide and seek, um, or as uh, we take little uh, little stone rocks around, we put them in a circle and just you know try to knock each other's pebbles out. Okay. Um, well, uh, so, so 
what you're telling me is you, you ran away from home and there's people's looking for you, right? Yeah. Not not my first not my first I managed to escape. I see. Well, you know what? I'm pretty good at uh making myself scarce. I could I could help you hide if you want. Can you? Yeah. Um here, let, let's see if we can hide in here. Uh they don't they don't they don't seem to see well in these dark alleys. Okay. I think right. one of them is one of them smells funny. One of the guards smells funny? Yeah, it's just and it talks a little bit of a slur too. Hmm. Well that's funny. I mean, is it somebody who's worked for your family for a long time? Yeah. But but I think I I, I it, it's sort of the same behavior uh I've heard uh other people do when they walk out towards one of the uh when they come out of the tavern sometimes. Oh, he's been drinking. But anyway, I think I hear my closest. Help me hide. All right. Come back uh, here. All right. Um, let's see. Why don't you? So he's going to make a stealth check uh, with advantage. Okay. Uh, I'll just I'll just. Uh, I'll just roll the 2d20. So he has a plus. Uh, a plus uh, plus three to this roll. Sixteen. All right. Um, and then I'm just gonna do a. All right, and um, I guess before before I roll for the guards, um, cut it back to everyone else. You see, uh, Craven, you do you begin to see the guards begin to migrate their way closer to Vale and the kid. Our time to shine. And he's gonna start walking towards the guards. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, if they're heading towards this alley and I'm kind of at the the mouth of it, I'm like, I'm gonna make myself big, you know, and just they have to pass like they have to make a reasonable berth around me if they want to get around me. Okay. Um Craven, is there anything particular you do when you, as you get right to the guards? Yeah, yeah. He's gonna uh He's gonna walk up. And say, uh, you two haven't seen Darnley, have you? Uh, well, He's gonna flash his, uh, his badge for, uh, the, the... Oh. Well, Durnley's... They're one of the Slayers. Oh. Yes, Durnley. Um, I think last I saw him, last I saw him, sort of the, the... Center of town where the, uh, the markets are. Just I think that's where I last saw him. Good. Just we need to find him. There's some kid causing all kinds of hell out there. What did a kid look like? Just some little brown hair brat looking kid. Make a uh, make a deception with advantage. Huh. Deception. Ah, yes. <laughs> very, <laughs> very, very good deception. Very deceived. Ah, one. <laughs> okay. Uh, one. <laughs> Ooh, Is this sorry. happening near me? Uh, it's happening close to you, yeah. 13, take the wheel. Okay. I uh, see so oh, one looks towards the other. Uh, uh, so one looks towards the other and says, Brown hair, huh? We'll go investigate. Thank you for the Craven. information. Craven, did you, uh, did you hear word? I have the news. Says, Thank you. And I'll walk over towards uh, Ace for a moment. Uh, very loudly, I'm going to say, we heard reports that he's behind the school. Is he? 
And I'll look back to the guards and uh, just kind of shrug and start walking back to the back of the school. Right, uh, the guards... With the, uh, the guards uh, look a little confused. It's like first, it was, first it was at the marketplace, and now it's at the school. Um, they just, uh, as you begin to fall, go to the school. They, the, the two guards, uh, follow you towards it. Perfect. That's enough. It's in the opposite direction. Even if it's just for a few more exactly, minutes. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I'll just go over there and look around for a while while they're doing their thing. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And so eventually, uh, Vale, you hear a little bit of commotion, you eventually hear Craven, you also hear Avon's voice, uh, Ace's voice. Um, and eventually you hear the guards begin, uh, you hear the guards walk away. Huh. Now see, there you go. I think your, uh, your guards are gone now. Okay, so, good. Uh, so, uh, you want to come, uh, come with me and my friends? We could get you, get you a meal or something. Uh, I mean, if if they don't mind the potential, the trouble they may get if you guys get caught with me. Well, I mean, we can fix that up right quick. Here, do you mind getting a little dirt on your clothes? Uh, sure. Right. I'm going to like take some dirt and smudge it, like smudge it on his face, take some like, uh, like charcoal powder and like rub it in his hair and stuff. And all the while I'm like, like, as I'm doing this and putting, like making him disguised mm -hmm. as like a ragamuffin, I'm like checking him out. Like, like seeing if there's anything weird about this kid as, okay. I'm, as I'm doing this. Uh, make an investigation check. I uh, you don't catch anything off about the kid. Um, no strange marks, no nothing. Seems to be again healthy looking kid. Um, but with the fifteen, you you do you do notice that he has hidden a small sack of gold in his pocket. Okay. Well, I won't steal that. Um, but I, uh... I put it out there. <laughs> Temptation, uh, temptation. As soon as he's dead, yeah, it's gone. <laughs> um, oh no, he's dead. Take. <laughs> so you was talking about these kids and 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 the weird things happen is uh you know you live in a big house and you probably have a lot of servants and everything there with a lot of kids and stuff. Any yeah. anyone in in your in your house been been afflicted with this uh, this thing? Um, I've been told by, I've been told by dad that, um, when he was a kid, he had a, he had a, he had a brother who, who went to sleep and never woke up. Oh. And you said you're the second child? How old's your, your brother or, or sister? Two, uh, my brother is two years older than me. That's interesting. So, uh, all right, let me uh, let me bring you out here. I want to introduce you to my good friend, uh, and I'm gonna bring him bring him out in a second. Um, what's the kid's name again? Uh, kid's name is uh, Tolkar. Tolkar. Hey Ace, I just met this this kid. He's 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 pretty nice little kid. Is so far. Funny? It's just me. <laughs> Only one oh, left is a deer. I thought it's you were standing them. at the alleyway. Yeah, that, no, they walked away with the guards. It's just oh, me. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. You no, can still come out of that room and be like, hey, hey, so, oh, shit, he's gone. Ah, yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, as you can begin to leave, you see the car has a little bit of hesitation. So you like get to the alley, looks both ways, and then catches up. I'm just it's like, right. I see you look around for Ace, so I just come over to you and like, hey, Twiz, who's your friend here? Oh, hey, this is, uh, this is Tolkar. Um, Tolkar, this is Dira. Hi. Hey, Tolkar. Nice to meet you. N nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. In which, of uh, uh, Adira, you, um, you recognize Noble when you see one. Mm-hmm. Just based on, uh, 
even though he looks a little uh dirty um you could just tell like the types of clothes he wears and like the the the, the um the, the the posture and the uh the the word choice that it's it's definitely noble <laughs> Well, you guys hungry? You look like you used the bath. That, that, that was the, that she did this to me. <laughs> yeah, he was okay, worried about getting caught good. by the guard, so we we made him look a little bit less conspicuous, you know, fit in a little bit. <laughs> but hey, okay. um, why don't you uh, why don't you show us around a little bit, like like where you like to go and things you like to do? Okay. And uh, he will lead you guys uh, towards. He will lead you guys towards more the center of the town where the markets are. Let's cut back to uh, uh, Ace and uh, Craven. How long do you keep him distracted? I mean, I give the reasonable amount of time without being an all the adventure. So I don't know. We, we would like search that area until it wouldn't make sense to be searching that area anymore. So behind the school, if it uh, only took like five, ten minutes to look around, check some trees or whatever. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys take a little look around, looks looks around the uh, the back you, you with you two helping uh, the guards um, yeah. to no avail. And they just said, they'll ask some questions actually while we're searching. Yeah. Who's this kid you're looking for? What's so special uh, about him? I just uh, know he was causing trouble. Uh, he's 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 the lord's son um he's the lord's son supposed to, he was told to stay inside especially with with all the kids dropping like dropping like flies since this whole thing is back um and he's escaped again <clears throat> so far the lord doesn't know yet as far as we know yeah we just came from the hospital and we are told by many parents that they recently made friends with a brown hair brown eye slightly tan boy we came well, here to investigate and... well, that would be him mm -hmm. is he sick as far as you know no he's uh he he looks fine to me Well, is he, uh, do I know anything about the Lord? Do you, like, I, I don't know anything about the locals. I don't imagine. Uh, no, I would say based, because you spent, uh, mm -hmm. so far from what you can remember, you spent most of your time in the Slayer's Post. You don't really get much of what's beyond it. Mm -hmm. So who are you then? Royal Guard? Royal Guard, yes. Gotcha. Well, we could use, we'll uh, continue helping you. We could use an We're audience. Gonna go. Yeah, just kind of looking over at Ace, and he uh, says, figure this out. Wouldn't hurt to uh, yeah. maybe ask some some help of the people in charge. Yeah, we could, uh, if you guys could help us uh talk with the royal family and see how their son may or may not be involved or we'll get the other information they might have and we'll get the other slayers looking for the kid okay well if you if you do need an audience with the lord uh let us know you could find you could find us or other royal guards walking around we'll form that slayers are potentially that slayers may seek audience with the Lord and they will help show you the way. Excellent. Thank you very much. This is a... And they uh, head off, uh, heading off in a direction away. As you look back, they, they see the guards head off one way and you see uh, Adira, Vale, and the kid uh, walking the other way towards uh, the market cool. area. All right, uh, yep. Let's go re rejoin, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay. Upon second inspection, 
Craven's not going to rejoin properly. I think we're still going to maintain a, a tailing distance so that we're not um, directly seen by the kid, nor... Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. As for Ace? Yeah. Yeah, as soon as I see Craven, I'm sure there's a reason for it, and I'd ask and get that, and... Like, yeah, good call. I can't stealth worse shit. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, you guys begin to head off in the direction of the market with Craven Ace tailing a little ways away to, uh... So accompany this young this young lord of Berks, uh, this young lord of Berksley. Uh, we're gonna take a break here. Cool. All right. Oh. Nope. Hey. Oh yeah, yo. All right, we'll pick. We'll pick we're back up. We're working as a team. I like it. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh fuck. We'll pick back back up in ten minutes and right. uh, see the party with the with the uh, the child. Hell yeah. All right, I'll mute my, my ass. mother now. <laughs> you are. <laughs> I am now mom. <laughs> Yeah. I am I am mom now. You're like, hey there, sweetheart. And that was it. That's over now. <laughs> That's it. I didn't want you to Show's now. over. <laughs> I'm moving into your house. I don't know what to tell you, kid. I <laughs> As to character development, I'm just a mom now. <laughs> oh. So far, um, still no fucking lead with this kid. We just have something tying people and then no fucking clue what this kid's connection to it is, so I'm hoping that we can suss that out real soon before my ass has to go bust into his house and find any kind of evidence for anything. <laughs> Literally, I feel so sus with the kid right now. I, I it's the thing. Hasn't done much the the kid isn't sus. The kid because by himself seems, seems fine. He seems like a he kid that's like breaking out to make friends because he he's a lonely kid. Then? So, because he, he doesn't get caught then? by, he doesn't want to get taken home. Totally makes sense. The kid himself sucks. seems fine. I think there's someone either watching the kid or like some fucked up shit's going on back home or this kid's got something he's attached to him perhaps that is like latching on to other kids. There's gotta be something. I don't think it's the kid himself being weird. I'm, I'm still, I'm still sus. I'm totally fine. fair. I don't know, Until we man. can prove that he is definitely 100% not sus, he's sus. <laughs> he's sus. <laughs> the only he's way sus. to make sure that he's not sus, make him fall asleep forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've lost our only lead. <laughs> well, it, at least he's not sus. If the right? kid is not who we're looking for, please put him to sleep. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> 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 Just gonna wait till nighttime. We're gonna sneak into his house and go nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. That's gonna nightmare, be it. Nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> just wakes up in the middle. Just wakes up in the middle of the night. It's just Kevin, just like nightmare, nightmare. nightmare. <laughs> Bro, it'd be horrifying to see this like a horned man in your corner in like total shadows. Nightmare, <laughs> nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> Sleep paralysis demon! <laughs> Why would the kid be such a big part? Why would there be so much detail in his character if he was fine? He can be fine. He he can be the center of things without being responsible for things. That's uh -huh. all I'm saying is we're we're putting too many eggs in one singular basket right now. He's a great lead and tie, but it could it could branch off from him to something else. Sorry, I was telling I chat that more than anything. Mm -hmm. I like that you guys think. Think at all. <laughs> <laughs> you played in a uh, played in campaigns where people don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like, I like that you put the ideas together. <laughs> it's it's a lot of fun. The playing investigator can be a, a blast. But also, again, I just don't don't think we have anything solid from this kid yet. There's not. There's not reason to think it's him. There's not reason to think it's something associated with him, really. There's a lot of there's a lot of not anything to go on yet with this kid. So Fine, I'll, I'll, I'll spoil it for you guys. It's rats, motherfucker! <laughs> Damn it! Look, you can see. Oh my god! Oh my god! And Caradwin is asleep forever right now. She got the rat disease. <laughs> 
<laughs> the, the evil guy is just the giant rat that we thought we killed in the beginning. And it Son wasn't. of a bitch. Every 20 to 30 years, his ass gets back up. This 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 is what happens when you rush to conclusions, guys. <laughs> ah! I got bubbly in my nose. There? No, it did the pop-up thing, and it went, oh, right into the nostril. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. I got bubble nose. The nose is not fun. I'm sneezing bubbles. <laughs> it's not a good feeling. If he turns out useless, eat him? The child? Why is chat so hellbent on eating this child? Huh? What? Guys! It's, it's been a thing, y'all. I've been looking at the chat and they're just like, eat him. Consume the child. And I'm like, I don't think we're going to eat Consume this kid. child. No! I don't think we should eat the kid. Be right back. You got any uh, theories there, Jim? I don't know. I'm 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 torn because the, the the more we interact with this kid, we're just not getting much. You know, it's like he seems healthy, yeah. he seems fine, he seems just like a a lonely kid who's looking for other kids to play with. But I think Ace might be onto something with interacting with the royal family. There might yeah. be something there that we need to investigate, as opposed to just this kid. Yeah, and there could, could be ties to the kid, but. You know, I'm not I'm not getting anything off this kid at all. It does so, feel like trying to get water from a stone with him, so Yeah, it's like Yeah, I mean he looks healthy, he feels healthy, you know, he's just being a normal kid. What so. threw me off is that kid's dad also had someone in the family die, which means the royal yeah. family's not immune to this thing. They're afraid of it. Right. Which yeah kind of puts responsibility off of them as well. Yeah. So I have no fucking clue if unless it's like another yeah. third party attached to this kid somehow. Right. Maybe he's like got a demon nanny or something. I don't know. <laughs> it could be. I mean, we'll follow the kid around a little bit and, you know, if we don't get anything, we'll let him go, you know, back to wherever. And then yeah. we can pursue the other angle of maybe interacting with the family. <laughs> but yeah, right now it seems like the kid might even be a red herring, you know? feels like a little bit hey kid tell us something useful <laughs> <laughs> i mean he already yeah, tried so, to like yeah. tried to get something useful out of the game he's like tell me about the tell me about the I thing <laughs> uh good this has been a good <laughs> session so far it, it's definitely a good it. session yeah could I'm I'm a bit of a redemption <laughs> arc right now. <laughs> you got it, dude. The uh, the art has been a big visual. Mm -hmm. The visual assets yeah. are helping a lot for sure. Absolutely. It's definitely putting the the visual in my head of how this town looks and how we're moving about it helps a lot. <laughs> Knowing a face to who was, we're talking to helps a ton. I was debating if I wanted to put. Uh, the art of Birchley as its own map, or just kept it as, as a pop up and show it with like the world map. Actually, you know, let's 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 do that. Let's see let's see how this goes with keeping the world keeping the city art up while still having the world map up too. Right. Works either way, honestly. It'd probably be fine to uh. A fun thing you can do, actually, if you do make it the background map, is um, you can type out points of interest and stuff on it. So, like, you can literally like, be, like, one school, one, two, tavern, whatever. Mm -hmm. You could, like, type out shit that's interesting if you wanted to. Or we could. We could literally make notes on the map. So. But I like this. This is all going great. I'll consider that idea. Yeah. We're murdering the kid? Uh, yes. Okay. Alright, roll for initiative. Uh... <laughs> it's clearly a demon child. I'm just going to, uh... I'm just going to use the Russian real quickly, then we'll get back into it. Sounds good. Alright. Just stretch. If he doesn't wash his hands, so... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now that the DM is gone... Yeah. What's our actual My thoughts on this? What, what are we doing? My bones are popping. I got oh, no, no fucking idea, dude. 
<laughs> I know. I I think I I think I'm just I've like run out of it with this kid. I don't know what else to ask them. Yeah. You know. You, we I could think get yourself still... invited for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Were you maybe just go talk to the parent? Yeah. Something to get us talking to maybe somebody who knows what the fuck they're talking about. Or I'm like I'm trying to get somebody to say like ah this old legend or ah this. This thing happened all these years ago. Yeah, I think we got to get to the parents for that, especially if the yeah. if the parents are like have had somebody die of it. Maybe like it seems like they're more involved or knowledgeable. Oh. Let's get let's get to them and get them talking. Yeah, that sounds like a good thing. We'll try and wrap it up real quick with the kid and then and then move on. Yeah, break his heart. He'll think he's got a hot <laughs> date for dinner. <laughs> then you turn into Frank immediately and you're like, all right, take me into your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might just frame him for shoplifting. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, 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 see how he deals with that. <laughs> if he has a, if he has a breakdown, then it's probably the legitimate child. He starts murdering people then. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. And that's what I slapped the baby. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, Do not. Roll, roll, stitch. Roll, stitch. <laughs> <laughs> it was the kid the entire time. <laughs> it was the butler, actually. Uh... Okay. Well, uh, if people are good, let's pick up from here. Right. So you guys, um, after after successfully waving the guards in the other direction away from uh, uh, Tolkar, you guys, um, Adira and Vale with Tolkar, whilst Craven and Ace are a little behind, um, basically go to... Uh, Seems like spend some time with the child. Um, I see he takes you all to the central marketplace in which uh, it's. It looks a little emptier. You know, maybe, uh, it looks a little empty. Uh, you guys suspect that maybe, you know, people are people are cautious about going out, especially with what's going on or um, Maybe, you know, the parent, maybe parents are in the hospital seeing their kid or whatever. But you see Tolkar says, Tolkar says to Vale and uh, Adira. There'll be people nearly standing shoulder to shoulder with each other. But as of, as of for the past couple of days, it's just been getting thinner and thinner. I imagine that's because people are worried, right? Yeah, I, I I think so too. It makes it it makes it hard for me to blend in if there's not a lot of people here. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Um, so, what do you normally do here in the market? Um, play with the kids. Uh, but to play with other kids, um, have have some food that the locals locals tend to just give it to me for free because they know who I am. Um, not that I'm like, I don't, I, I, I do appreciate that they do it. They don't have to do that, but they they choose to do that. Um, I live life for once well that's not that sounds nice did you uh did you want to get some food or you need to get off on your on your on your way now uh i think i think i may be best if i if i head back it's gonna be hard for me to not get caught it's gonna be it's gonna be hard for me to not get caught with how very few people are here now you want me to walk you back? 
if uh yeah if you if you if you want to you don't have to you know i could i could get there by myself but yeah, we could okay. take you back I to your anyways. yeah yeah Mar the market i know can be wild when you're walking around alone so i don't mind okay thank you um and so you guys begin to uh you 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 guys begin to head away from the marketplace uh uh and you guys begin to head towards uh the head towards what is the 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 biggest uh the biggest mouse um and it's not big due to you know number of floors it's just um it looks to have it, it seems to be on like a one story house but it's massive um, most of the top buildings you see are like either schools hospitals uh basically essentials but they mostly they mostly just have you know big house um <laughs> And you you begin to, you guys are walking towards it. You see you know guards standing you know there's guards at the at the door, um, guards the guards at the front door um, with a few others that seem to patrol around it. Um, and then um, you see you see another kid. Uh, you see, you see, you see a kid walk out of the front door. Um, let me just do this real quick. Oh shit. Obviously Obviously the older brother? Brother. <laughs> brother. Yeah, I gotta be. How can you guys tell? Um... <laughs> What, just because two people look almost the same well just because two people look similar doesn't mean they're the brothers <laughs> it, it does also say their last name on there that's uh <laughs> Fair. i was getting that kind of, yeah that kind of kills it doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying okay <laughs> ignore that for now um and you, and you see this uh you see this uh tw this little bit older looking kid come out uh, you see, uh, you hear, uh, Vale and, uh, Dear, you hear, um, Tolkar said, just whisper himself, just, oh, no. Everything okay? Yeah, it's just, that's just, that's, that's my brother. Do you not get along with him? It's it. It's not that we don't get along. It's just that we don't just. Uh, as, as he begins to just to describe, uh, he looks over towards you guys and it says, "Oh, there you. So there you are, brother." As uh, he get, yeah, he gets to walk. Uh, he gets to walk towards you, and you see uh, another a guard sort of comes out from one of the patrols and walks with the kid. Mm -hmm. So. Escaped the house again, didn't ya? Yeah, I just wanted to see other people. Yeah, just wanted to see other people, huh? Why would you need to see other people when we have all the things that we need inside? Uh, you guys can see that uh, Tokar is going a little silent. How old is this kid? The, the new one, the brother, twelve. Two years older, yeah. Yeah. ten and twelve. Okay. Hmm. Hey, sometimes it's nice to be to just get some fresh air. I know when I was his age, I was running away from my house all the time. It took hours for them to find me. I'm sorry. Who are you? Oh, my name is Adira. We, <laughs> me, and, me and our. So I know is Vale still looking like Twist or did he oh, go yeah. back to normal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah still in Twist. Yeah, me and Twist here and a couple of our friends. We've just we're new to Berkeley. We've just walked around. So I figured I would at least offer to walk her back, just because I know the market can be crazy. Well, 
Like, well, one. One, it's Berksley. Two, don't care. <laughs> you know, you kind of have an attitude problem, don't you? Wiz, let's not start fighting here. We just met him. But I want to slap him. I really want to slap him. He's being mean to his little brother. That's not very nice. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, no, go ahead. Do attempt to do attempt to slap me, little girl. As um, <laughs> you see, one of the the guards is now eyeing you to see what your like next move is. In, can I just like step in between <laughs> Vale and Sil? Just like, no, we're not gonna have any fighting here. We're let's be peaceful, okay? Raven and Ace just seeing this conversation from a distance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Waiting for the appropriate time to uh, mm -hmm. step in. We'll just keep on keep on a far wall for a minute. I'm, as as a um, part of the reason I'm I'm doing this and, and trying to provoke the kid is is I want to get a good look at him. I want to see if you know. Again, is there anything about him that seems off? I mean, he's a little asshole, that's for sure. But mm -hmm. anything beyond that, uh, perception or insight. Rolling that 20 and you see the heart beating in his hand that he ripped out of somebody. <laughs> <laughs> no, did not roll that. Didn't time. notice that before. <laughs> Six. No. Yeah. Looks fine. I suspect we're too far to do anything about that. Uh I would say your guys are about like number of feet wise, how far away do you like keep yourself? Where's the nearest <laughs> house to this estate? Yeah. Uh sure. it's like I would have to say the nearest house is not one it's not next door. Um Should I make a perception uh, check as well? Uh on the kid? Um, Sound like right there. Sure, make a uh, perception or insight. But I would say that um, and this is in the middle of the road, uh, so you guys are about um, the group of three are the the the, the conversation that's going on is taking place twenty feet away from the house, and then uh, Ace and Craven are like to get to like sort of the next sidewalk or corner um, is another like twenty five feet. Okay, so it's pretty separate from the rest of the. Not one the buildings around it. I, uh, dear, you're too focused on make of uh, keeping things, trying to keep the tensions down too to even, to, 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 to to even try bitch. to notice anything. <laughs> I'm too focused on making sure Twist doesn't get us kicked out of Berksley. <laughs> you know, actually, I know it'll take a second to get there, but um. Kravan is gonna, or Craven is gonna look over to Ace and uh, say, "Well, may as well get that meeting." You want to pretend like we know them, or or pretend like we don't know them, rather? We'll see what they do when we get there. All right. And uh, yeah, we'll start walking up. All right, and so you guys are. Uh... As you guys begin to approach this conversation uh, with this little bit, this tiny bit of a tensity between uh, between Tolkar and his older brother, along with like the guard looking at Vale and Adira trying to keep things cool, you hear a uh, you hear a voice come. You hear a vo voice come from the uh, the house. Um, it is the voice you hear a oh, voice shout. Here four shouts. Now what's going on here? As uh, you all turn and you see, um, and we, uh, you turn you in uh, as you guys turn, you see some of the the uh, the, the guard that sort of eyeing turns back and sort of gives like a bow on all of the guards who are there give a sort of begin to give a bow on all of, like other uh, civilians. Give about in which um, you guys hear from other people going like, um, you hear them saying like, "Oh, it's 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 Lord Karkask. It's it's you know, Lord 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 Madonu." In which uh, let me just Lord Karkas. 
Oh man, they are Final Fantasy looking fuckers, aren't they? Totally. <laughs> hey, listen, I found an art type and I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> we know Kenzie's type. Hell Gosh. yeah. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> Play, I played Final Fantasy X once. Uh, he does look like a dad, though. This looks like he's see. a dad who's done with his kids. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like that. Um, as you see, he, uh, he begin, as he walks, uh, begins to walk over towards you all, and you see uh, the older brother uh, looks back at um, Tolkar. gets a little like a, a like a like a uh, just a cheesy cheesy kind of noble Draco Malfoy kind of grin. I'm like, oh, it's just, oh, you're in trouble now. <laughs> like, you're in trouble now because my dad's here. Um, as, as he begins approaching, uh, you see uh, the older bird begins this. Dad, it looks like, looks like Tolkar has been caught outside the house again. And you see Tokar gets a little, just a little, looks down at the ground. And you, you see the father goes, yes, son, I can see that. You go inside. C can I just, can I just stay out here and see what you, what you're next, what you do? And you go inside. Uh, and you see the, the grin fades from the first son and just walks back in. Stick my tongue out at him from behind. <laughs> I just like slap your shoulder, like twist. Yeah. <laughs> it's like twist. Uh, stop it. Torkor gives it a little smile at you. He liked what you did there. <laughs> and yeah, eventually, eventually, uh, the Lord catches uh, Lord Madonu catches uh, get catches up with the group and Craven Ace. Eventually, you guys are uh, joining in. See, uh, the Lord turns to the guard and says, I can handle it from here. Thank you. Guard uh, bows and uh, walks off. And I just say, like, hi, sir. We didn't mean any harm. My si little sister saw Tolkar and wanted to be friends, so I offered to walk them to bring Tolkar here back home. We didn't mean any trouble. No. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you both helping bring my son back when he's not supposed to be out with what's been going on with all the other children. But I I understand why he's doing it, but I would have prefer if he stayed inside. And in here, uh, Tokai speak under his breath. I would have preferred to actually have a social life. Oh, I understand completely. My parents wouldn't let little Twist here out if I wasn't with her. Is it, I'm sorry. Are you, are you? Is there something else you're looking for? Oh no, not at all. We were just on our way. I'm sorry. I just wanted to bring Tolkar back safe and sound. Oh, at this you. point, we walk up. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Essentially, yeah. You guys. Yeah. Lord Madonu. He'll so, yes. Give a a light bow, albeit slightly awkwardly, because he doesn't do that normally. Uh, I, as you begin, as you do the bow, um, psychic damage. Uh, you see, you see one of the guards turns back to see the group get a little bigger and looks at you with like a little bit of hesitation, but then just continues on. Mm. Little horns. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and he uh he looks and says, "We're here on Slayer business. Do you have a moment to speak?" I presume I presume you're investigating what's going on. We are, and we have been given reason to believe you might have some information we could use. I've got I've got some time. Excellent. Come in. And he'll, uh, and you, all, right. yeah. all of you go inside. I mean, uh, I guess you and I do. <laughs> I mean, he'll look at Adira and and be like, just a, are you coming or? <laughs> no. 
Veil's not. Veil's okay, they got outside. other stuff to do. Got it. <laughs> just I'll just be like, outside. twist, stay here. Stay here, twist. And then I'll just join the rest inside. I gotta leave your little so... sister out? Alone? <laughs> The thing you just told them you wouldn't do. <laughs> There's plenty of guards around. <laughs> There's plenty of guards around. I'm sure. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm sure the eight-year-old girl will be fine. <laughs> and so, okay, so all of you except for Vale, head inside. Um, Vale will give it back to you in a minute here. Um, and so all of you go inside, uh, and you see the place. The place looks. Um, it's, it's, it's big in the inside as it looked on the outside, uh, covered in very, in, in, in all sorts of just, uh, all sorts of decoration, uh, decorations, you know, suits of, uh, you know, suits of armor, um, suits of armor that's in the hallway, um, you know, give me a sec, yeah. And uh, that leads open. It leads out to a more open, like big open space, sort of like a large hay now living area. Yeah. Um, it you look around, you see the structure. It's like it's it's sort of like a, a it's it's like if you take um, the typical like structure of a regular house and then just like scale it large. Okay. So the, the so yeah, the structure seems to be like of a normal house, but it's just like made bigger. Big doors, big everything. Yeah. Tall ceilings big kind of deal. Got it. Like it's built for someone who's like nine feet tall. Yeah, or maybe just the royal wanted to seem, you know, it would be like, I have the biggest house. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um But um but you guys are sort of taken to this sort of, uh, sort of to the main area where it's, where it seems to be, uh, um, uh, you see that they've like, like, there's a fireplace, uh, there's a, a table side in which it seems to be sort of a combination of like a, of a, like a, a, an open kitchen with a, with like a, with a, ta like a with a large table, which seems to be with, um, Which, se which seems to be with uh, like maps and plans of sorts. Mm -hmm. um, it seems to be like a multi-purpose room. Um, it takes you in and says, "Well, if there's any questions you have, or start asking, and I can answer them as best I can." Excellent. We won't waste too much of your time. And he uh, just looks. He says, "I know it to be a." tough subject but anything that you can give to us information wise about the sleep would be uh, useful even if it doesn't sound useful to you right now whatever details stories you've heard rumors around town or experiences you've had well pursuing you got into see our our uh, hospital's current state with all the children that are in there that's where we started yeah my family has ruled Berksley for a long time um it's ruled before the fiends attacked and when we managed to wreak and when we when we kept them off, we were still ruling it. And then when we had, and once everything cooled, calmed down to how, how, how as it is today, we were still here. How many generations, Five. might I ask? I'm currently third generation. Nearly a century then. Yes. But, but me being, I've still seen, for me now, this is, uh, this is a third time that's happened in my lifetime, but I only remember this, I, but I only remember the previous one. 
as that was when I was of age where I could remember stuff. Back in my uh, teenage years. But. This sort, this thing goes around, I take it personally. As I've gotten to learn that whatever is going on here does not count out anyone. My uh, younger brother fell to this. You already hear that. I can still remember the day, you know, we were sharing that we shared a room together. In fact, it's the same room that, uh, it's the same room that my two boys share over there as he points over back towards the hallway where there's a door, a side door that looks to lead to a, 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 a you, as it's like, as the door is still open, you see, uh, for me, you're standing the two beds that are put on one side of the wall, which you see. Um, you see the older brother, which you hear his name is Sill. Uh, like, sitting in the bed with, like, with, like, the cocky grin while uh, Tolkar goes in. I remember waking up. Uh, I go and have breakfast. Father, my father tells me, go wake up your brother. He's still asleep. I go to wake him up. And he doesn't. He was then rushed over. He was then rushed over to the medical center with the other kids. Though I wish father didn't take as much of a priority from all the other kids to, to tend my brother as he died along with them. Sorry for your loss. Did they give this a name or did they... Did they get... Are there medical journals about this? Um, you can find... Uh, I know it's late, but... You can go see... If you go see the head doctor there tomorrow. Um, you can ask, you can ask, you can tell him that you have my permission to go through uh, medical records and have him give him whatever information that him or the other head doctors that were there before him. Perhaps one of the ones before him will know something. He says. And he's kind of not given a sympathetic face as of yet. Uh, just continues asking. You've seen and experienced it. it. Says. We know that a lot of the other parents have mentioned seeing your son before falling ill. Is there somebody that is regularly in your younger son's life that is consistent? Maybe a special guard personal nanny, tutor, anyone that we could uh, ask more questions. We mostly just have the guards that watch the, watch the kids. We don't, we, we don't really have a babysitter. For them. All right. Hmm. And no one specific guard is assigned. It's we we uh, the guards rotate just so the kids are familiar with every single one of them. Okay. And you don't have. Any friends of the family outside of the 
palace here. Before the before the fiends, I would have I would have given you plenty of names, but a lot of them had either just moved on from Berksley or died. Understood. Well then, I mean, kind of looks to Ace and Adira like anything else to ask. I'm quite curious about your guards and how your son has been able to skip out and meet so many of these little children. Yeah. I'm not saying you need to hire better guards, but it's also very coincidental that he's met every one of these children before they've fallen ill. Tokar has always been the quiet social bug. Uh, he likes to be with people, but the quiet is still new-ish. As sadly, their mother came down, uh, fell to an illness uh, four years ago. Again, my condolences. I've seen a lot of death. Things have always. Things haven't always been fair since the fiends attacked. It seems as he gives a little bit of like a, uh, he gives a little bit of like a grin of sorts. Mm. Well, there are other ways of looking at it. You've been blessed many times by the Raven Queen. Thank you. You said this is the third time this has happened in your life. Yes, the first time was when I was a when I was a baby. And then another Second time years. was, and then now. So there's no consistent gap. It can be less than twenty years, more than twenty years. Hmm. But. Again, if you need to seek permission, you can see about Dr. Day. Um, though I'm not sure how familiar he is with the record since he's only been here for... Since he's only been here for a year or two. Excellent. Can we get this in writing? Your permission. Ah, uh, yes. Um, and he, he goes over to uh, the table and he goes over to one, with the table and pull, takes a, like a, a spare sheet of paper, puts a little ink, uh, writes something on it. Uh, takes a stamp, stamps it on. Looks over to you. If this, um, if this should help you, look into it if somehow those Slayer's badges don't work. Much appreciated. We hope to come back with good news. I want this to be over, because it's happened in my lifetime. It's happened to my father's and his father before him. It's been here for a long time. Huh. And yet somehow we're just never making progress. Still not even a clue of how the kids are getting it. Every doctor that's looked, every doctor has been here. Most of the, it will leave the head doctors either traumatized or just retired. And they'll just leave. Do any still live in town, to your knowledge? No. The last one that was here 30 years ago uh, left shortly after that one ended. They just, they wanted to move on. Yeah, you see that much death in your life. You can only imagine. Perhaps. I think we've taken enough of your time, though. 
Let me know if you need anything else. I'll give that uh, nice awkward bow again before uh, turning to take his leave. Okay. Yeah, I'll also uh, like half bow. Okay. And as you all begin to leave, uh, Veil, let's mm -hmm. come back to you. Uh, okay. They've all just gone inside. Right. Uh, you're left out in the streets in which things sort of pick back up and people are passing by, guards doing their, rotate, doing their routines. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, I kind of want to go, are there either find like a uh, inconspicuous place to, to kind of hide and loiter or maybe even a tree to climb and hide in and just watch the area and see if any odd or out of the ordinary people happen to wander by. Okay. Um, all right. Why don't you make a stealth check for me and then okay. make a stealth check. Let's do that first. 25. Fuck's sake, you're just gone. Uh, then go ahead and make a uh, perception check. It'll probably be like a four. Oops. Here we go. I'll remind you. Oh, 15. Yeah. Here we go. More than a four. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, you go up into one of the trees and uh, you are confident that no one sees you. Um, Presuming you stick to your twist form? Yeah, for now. Okay. And you begin, you're watching, you know, you don't really, you don't, you begin to not see much as a little bit of time goes by. Um. And then at one point you look over and you see, um, you see a white cloaked uh, figure with a hood up, uh, walk down, look around, and then turn towards one of the alleyways. I will follow this cloaked figure. Okay. Uh, you follow the cloaked figure um, You into the alleyway. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll say we'll keep that 25 stealth. Carrot will carry over. Um, because, fuck's sake, <laughs> um, you go to the alleyway, you get a little closer to see, um, you figure gets sort of like, it's, it's one of those alleyways that leads to like the side of the buildings, a bunch of like another network of alleyways. Um, mm -hmm. and you see, he, he, he walks a little bit towards it. Um, and you see, he pulls, um, you see, he reaches towards you see with his back towards you, uh, you see that they reach towards something inside. Um, and then be, and then their arm goes up and you see their head goes back. And it's like, make it, um, what was, what was your passive inside again? 12? Yeah, passive inside 12. Head back, arm up. Okay. And at any time when they do that, do I get a look at their face at all? Uh, make a uh, perception or insight. Yeah, love it. You don't quite catch what he does, but they do look familiar. Okay. Um, and they're drinking something, you said? Looks, yeah. And this looks like an adult male, is what I'm getting. Uh, yeah, adult male. All right. Um, I got nothing to lose. I'm going to go up and say, hey, what are you doing? Uh, you see, <clears throat> it catches as it turns around. Uh, and you see, uh, you, you see uh, Dr. Day. Dr. Day! He wouldn't as... recognize me in this form. Uh, he goes, oh, I see. He hides, uh, put, sees, puts away something. He looks, it's like a, he seems to be seen to like a small container, uh, like a small metallic uh, container as he puts it away. Uh, yes, child. What you doing there? Are you a doctor or something? I, uh, yes, I, I am a doctor. I, in fact, I run the medical facility here. 
Oh, that's probably where I seen you. Um, well, um, I, it, are you, is, do you have a sibling that's, uh, sleeping? No. But I do have a friend. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that you're one of your friends has come under. So what are you doing? Why are you out here in the alley drinking some weird stuff or something? Just relieving stress. Okay. So there, there's what, a lot that it? there's a lot that goes there's a a lot of things that have been going on recent and uh sometimes we we need a little breather. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, it, wouldn't wouldn't like a tavern or something be better to go get a drink? I mean, what was you drinking anyway? It's a uh, well, I'm not sure if I should really talk about this to a kid. It's it's a it's a special drink for uh, for uh, healers like myself. What's it do? It helps clear the mind. Okay. Why don't you, uh, like Phil, why don't you go ahead and make a uh, make an insight check for me? Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, seems to be fine. You know, maybe maybe it is just maybe it's just the stress getting to him a little bit and just need a little bit of breather. Well, I guess I'll let you get back to doing whatever you're doing then. And I'll uh I'll just kind of move away, but kind of keep an eye on him, see see if he like moves off or if he's just hanging out doing some weird ritual or something in the alley. And and uh, yeah, and he he goes to leave, he goes, "Can you promise me something?" Pins. If you do, if you do tell people that you saw me, tell, don't tell them I was drinking cuz I technically should be doing that. Yeah, okay. And, uh, turns around and, uh, goes to leave. Um, I will say this, given your passive perception, as we get to walk away, um, you don't smell alcohol. Figured. All right. Well, I'll just uh, I'll wake make my way uh, to an inconspicuous place, um, either another alleyway or just a you know a dark alcove somewhere. And, and I, I do at this point want to uh, shift back into my Frank uh, impersonation, uh, which involves also a change of wardrobe, which I always carry my pack around with me. Yep. So you just have a bag on. of clothes that you just swap in and out of. <laughs> yeah. Well, and a lot of times, a lot of times the, the whole thing behind the sewing is there's a lot of straps and buckles and things I can make yep. things bigger and smaller and all that real quickly. But in this case, going from such a, a small person to a bigger person, it, it's, it's a little bit more. But and then I will make my way back to the entrance of the uh, manor house and wait for my companions. We walked out. <laughs> we walked. I, I just came to realize that um, these these handouts I have have the ability to zoom in and out. So yeah, isn't it nifty? You can like make them yeah. fit to the screen a lot better. Yeah. yeah. So, so for those who are watching, that's virtually at a closer detail. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, doing some uh, weird mental math. Is there any um, correlation to like? the children's ages like between the generations that he just kind of told us like oh when my dad and then we we were this age and you know like does it happen when the oldest child is 12. um oh. you do you do a little bit um you do a little bit of mental math um it does seem to go after um it does seem to go after it maybe it goes after some of the uh older children first 
that like like when, when you saw the hospital you saw that the range of it that the the kid that was brought in was like nine years old yeah and that you saw some of the other kids over there looked a little bit a little bit older hmm. okay but, see but yeah and then um make a uh make history check for me <clears throat> is that's not that fuck okay yeah you think back to when you were going around to the parents uh talking and trying to gather information you recall that there was one point there was a family in which there was a brother and a sister in bed uh in which uh you you learned that in which you were told that the brother who is uh the who who's older uh, was the first to go, and then the the uh, the sister was immediately after. Mm. So you you recall that little bit of knowledge when doing a bit of your investigation today. Were they were they twins or were they? No, uh, brother and sister. They were like one year apart. In which okay. the uh, the older the older brother went down first, and then the younger sister. When we were walking through the school, it wasn't like all nine year olds were like, and like all the 10, 11, 12s were non existent. No, there were still there. There were there were more younger kids than were older kids but it wasn't like it wasn't just vastly nine-year-olds that there just seemed a little less than there should be of the like near double digit year old kids okay hmm. okay not sure where and to could, chase that and also it could, because it's one school that like of course you know there was still uh i should i should correct myself there were still you know like the teens that were there, like the thir 13, 15, 17 year olds um, that were there. But like it, it just seemed, it just like, it was like, it had, the, it seemed like it had enough, the, the enough, like n uh, nine to five year olds, and then the, the, like, the enough like teenagers there, but then it was just like that missing, the 10 through yeah, 12. A, a dip in the middle, you know? Yeah. There's literally like a child death epidemic going on. They still don't call out school. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. No child left behind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we walk out and see Vale. Uh, yeah. Eventually, um, eventually the three of you uh do leave. Um, Vale is about like a couple minutes after you transform back, and you see your three friends come out. All right. I'll uh as they. Start walking out. I'll walk over and join them. Uh, did you find anything interesting inside? Tragic family. But well, we got a note. And I'll hold up the, the little writ for permission to go through the medical documents. He says, I intend to go bank it in now. Very well. So, while you were in there, I was watching out here. I saw... A strange figure uh, moved down the alley over there, follows him in. It was none other than the good doctor from the clinic. And he was drinking something from a small flask of vial hidden in the alley. He looked almost desperate or uncomfortable about it, but uh, it was very strange. Um, I think something is up with this fellow. Doctor seems sus. What's up? Suspicious? <laughs> oh, oh, I understand. I know you're not all caught up with the lingo that goes around here, Infinite. <laughs> I thought this was maybe inner world lingo, you know? Yeah. No, this is infernal in the middle of the street. It's infernal, you wouldn't get it. <laughs> yeah. Infernal, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, he says, well, so then maybe we should be more on guard. 
And perhaps this doctor doesn't need to know we're looking through the documents then. In which uh, I guess I'll point out now, it is about uh, evening at this That's point. Perfect time to walk back into the hospital and find the documents room. Perhaps uh, a job more fit for Vale and myself than, uh, well, he looks at Ace. <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> you say clanking and clicking around as you turn to. Let's <laughs> think about it. You have bright blue hair. I have bright purple hair. We're not the best at stealthing. <laughs> I was hungry, anyways. I... <laughs> I, don't, I was hungry. I will find food. Still, I'll bring though, you guys a snack. Might be good to be within shouting distance. Sure hope they have a cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head to the hospital. We're off. Sounds like a good plan. All right. And so you all uh, head over back to the hospital or the medical center of Berksley. Um, it's hard to come up with. It was hard to come up with a word that isn't like modern of like, because I don't think I don't think he used the word like hospital medical center. In like. Like, what would you call those sort of places a more, in a more, you know, fantasy genre? Hospice. Hospice? Yeah. Okay. Like I had a hard center. time. Alchemist what was that? Center? I don't know. As a I had a hard, as, I was being a hard, yeah. yeah, I had a hard time figuring out a word that's not as modern, but oh well. Um, Domus Day, Mason Dew, they were often called God's House. Those medieval hospitals. They were just called God's that House. Is a, yeah. Right. <laughs> little little Google search. It's fun. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, they these guys head over to uh, the House of Healing. Maybe that works better. Look at that. See, I'm on my feet. There you um, go. <laughs> <laughs> head over back to the House of Healing. Um, and so, all of you go inside. Oh, Infirmary is a good one too. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, sorry, that was from chat. That was, but... a, good... That was, that was uh, a good one. Good thank, yeah. thank you, chat. <laughs> uh, for, for sure, gonna walk inside and confidently walk to anywhere that is the uh, the, the document. Wherever documents would be, we're puffing our chest out, room? flashing our badge, and walking wherever we want to go. We're not asking permission. Uh, yeah. Okay. You, yeah. Uh, you go in. Show the show the uh, signed form of. We have rights, and um, yeah, with well, the hesitation, uh, one of the one of the uh, uh, one of the uh, one of the nurses uh, leads you into the back, in which uh, you go in. You see that there are it's it's a long room, in which there are just um, shelves of scrolls. I will ask one of the nurses or anyone who works here that organizes these where we can find things from the previous head doctors or anything to do with the sleep. Uh, they Even go, if they're not and they come. Okay. Oh, yeah. They don't. They, they, uh, the nurse leaves and comes back with one of the older, one of the uh, older doctor, uh, older doctors. I've been told you need a little assistance looking at the, uh, looking through the records. Indeed. Anything with the previous head doctors would be useful. Alright. And, uh, and it, well, let me take you to, let me see about the employee records. And, uh, it takes you over to one section and, uh, begins to pull out. And how far back do you want to look? Let's go with 40 some years ago. Uh, anything concerning the younger brother of. Uh, of oh, goodness, what's his name? Lord Medu. Uh, yes. Anything concerning the younger brother of Cargas Medu? No. Lord Medu. Medu. Okay, got it. Good. Good. All right. Uh, well, we have a current doctor, and it pulls out one of the pulls out one of the one of the tubes, and then says, "Here's the one on the current doctor." And then here is, uh. 
And here's one from when the last... And here's the records of the last doctor. The last head doctor who was here when we had our, uh... Last outbreak. And gives you that, too. So he's just gonna start... Scanning. Any immediate scanning until there's relevant information, and then he's gonna read more in detail. Okay. Uh, why don't... Okay, so... So this is Craven and Vale, right? Yeah, I'll provide the uh, the help action. Okay, so why don't you guys make me uh, perception or investigation checks? Uh, either individually I, or advantage. I'm, sorry, I'm, pro I'm providing the help, so Craven can okay. do it at advantage. Yeah, the minute they pulled out scrolls and were like, oh yeah, this looks like a lot of reading, I'm going to go, I'll get snacks. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That's what we like to 21. Say. Nice. Um, you go through the records. Um, you, you, you first look at the record of the current doctor. Um, you know, it describes, you know, it gives their name, their race, in which in the case uh, he's uh, uh, talks about Dr. Day, in which, you know, half elf joint, you know, came into this came into this uh, infirmary um, four years, uh, came to join this infirmary four years ago. Um, a, a solid, you know, solid background in which it came, it seemed to originated from, uh, Swindmore before, uh, making his way into Berksley. Um, seemed like a solid, uh, like nothing, nothing weird you could glance off of it. Um, and then you look at the next doctor, uh, this doctor was, uh, this, this doctor was dwarven. Um, this doctor was dwarven and joined about five years before that outbreak happened and seemed to left toward, and seemed to have left, uh, uh, seemed to have left, uh, you look through and it seems like you look at the, uh, the, the, the left, you look at the, the record that they have left and it seemed that like it was a short tenure for this one and it seemed to be like. Um, actually, no, not short tenure. I meant that, like, yeah, because he joined five years before, you know, the one before this, mm -hmm. and um, you know, and but there weren't as many kids that got sick this time around. Um, but you look and you happen to look you happen to also look through the records of like the kids that fell mm -hmm. from it and you match that like that this that the, the 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 doctor before left a day or so after the last kid uh fell ill which that last kid was uh the younger brother of the king interesting and with that twenty-one, um, you get a little curious on that, and you get begin to look further back, mm -hmm. and you and you see this, and you 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 see the same pattern that somehow, and this goes back like two centuries, where um, a doctor where a doctor joins a couple years later, the outbreak happens, so uh, like um, some kids fall asleep, and as the, after the last one falls asleep, the doctor seems to have left. And then a new doctor comes in, is there for a couple of years, head doc comes in, outbreak happens again. It, it seems to have that recurring pattern. Got it. Ah, uh, well. I mean, relaying that to the entirety of the party that's present. Uh, I think maybe it's time we pay Dr. Day a visit. What did you... What did you say he was drinking? I could not tell what he was drinking. It was not, didn't do not think it was alcohol. Though. He tried to play it off as alcohol, but I do not think it was this. Would we have his address in these documents? Uh, you look through, uh, you look through records and there is an address to a, uh, there's, there's an address to a house in Berksley. Are these similar houses being between the doctors, or did they ever share the same address or anything like that? 
just because that's when he's in when he goes away yeah yeah with that's when you won they seem to share the same address cool oh come on i mean the house is vacant the other doctor left <laughs> every 30 years new doctor moves in look the house has it says head doctor on the door you know it just feels <laughs> like change the sign. we didn't want to change the sign and <laughs> <laughs> they just like they basically just they just tape over the previous name on it yeah, yeah. it's like layers thick <laughs> dr day dr evening dr dr afternoon snack dr twilight yeah <laughs> dr eleven c's <laughs> god damn it we uh thank you so much bro you're the best uh we you're the best yeah uh if it's evening leaning into nighttime I think it's, I think it's pretty evident that something is tying him here. I think we should go without wasting too much more time. You, uh, wait, when you, when you saw him, you said he was just outside the estate? Vale? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, he was, um, he was uh, walking past uh, the manor house and then went down to a series of alleys. And I found him down in there. Perhaps we should go check on him. Might be a... Uh... Yeah. I mean, He's... after all the talk that we had of the child in the hospital room here just this morning, he might be looking at somebody who... might be a victim like you know like let's cut off this uh loose end he's gonna get all the documentation and i'll place it in his pack all of it doesn't matter uh, anything that was relevant the, of them they'll knowing the city whatever uh does the ma uh, address put him like in the same region of town like it's house i like because i yeah, it, it looks to be consistently the same. It, it seems to be the same address. Well, yeah, yeah, but like, is his house close to the estate? Like, would it be reasonable to assume maybe he was just walking that way? Yeah. Um, it's actually a little ways away. Mm. That like, it's sort of like, um, if let's say the medical center was like on the western part of the city, uh, his house was southern. Let's not waste any time. We should return to the estate. Okay, follow. It's gonna go with a, a pretty okay. solid pace. Is gonna walk out of the uh, infirmary and start heading towards uh, the Midonu house. Okay. Do know. Uh, you, yeah, you, yeah. You make your way to the uh, Midonu, back to the Midonu stage you were just a few hours ago. Mm -hmm. uh, they just talk to the guard. Cool. Say uh, we need to speak with. With uh, Mr. Madonna. And, uh, yeah, well, all four of you going in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're all with the Slayers, yes. <laughs> okay, cool. All of you, yeah, all four of you uh, go right in and um, brought in, uh, you see the king at this point, is sort of in his uh, night, night robes. Uh, seems to be getting ready for bed. Uh, says, oh, back so soon. We are. Are your sons awake? Uh, they're they're getting ready to go. To, they're about to go to bed. Why? So they're both fine. Yes. Excellent. Boys, as boys, as he yells out, and you see the door opens. You see both of them come out. Yes, Excellent. father. Yes, father. So up? Keep them awake a bit longer. Keep them all. Oh. Consider a special occasion. May I ask why they need to be awake? Just insurance. Mm -hmm. As he starts taking out documentation and um and setting it on the table or whatever's nearby. As a as a. I need a moment of your time to explain, and then whatever guards you can muster. Okay. And so you 
you take him over, you lay down your evidence, you know, about, you know, the, 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 the weird transition between, the weird transition between, um, had doctors about how one joint state is there for a few years and then it happens and then after the last kid see after it seems the last kid goes down the doctor leaves and then a new doctor comes in it's like this pattern of sorts and they all tend to they somehow seem to be in the same house i would um, like enough guards to make sure that nobody can slip out from his block we can go in interrogate Best case scenario, there's nothing wrong. Worst case scenario, we're killed, and whatever continues to do this gets out and runs away scot-free. Your guards should be there yeah. as a safety net to ensure that doesn't happen. The reason we are including your children in this is our associate Vale here saw the good doctor patrolling around your estate when their home is clearly across town so we are uh, a little worried that they might be being chosen as maybe the next in this long line so if you can keep them awake keep guards on them make sure uh, they're protected I do right. boys boys you sleep you're sleeping in my room tonight uh goes over one of the guards you gather you gather gather a small group of men you're gonna go you're gonna go to the doctor's home and you're gonna you're gonna go see and you're gonna capture if he's there you're gonna arrest him if he and if he fights back fight harder yes sir and a small group uh you say the guy goes out and takes a few and heads outside and leaves mm. wait for us to go with them are you gonna go with them we would like to go to the doctor's house as well Okay. I'll I'll stay I'll stay up with the boys as best as I can. All right. I trust you to it then. And he'll once again the light bow, and then uh, meet up with the guards that are leaving. Following. Okay. Got the fucking SWAT and, team together, uh, boys. Let's let's get to raiding. <laughs> All right, and so you guys uh, basically just without without a moment thought, you guys just head over about nighttime, like ten or eleven p.m. Um, you guys head on over to the house in which one of the guards uh, goes up. Royal guard, open up. Doctor Dave, we'd like a word with you. No response. Are there any windows? Uh, yes, there are windows. Same floor? Uh, yeah, same floor. Is it a multi-level house? Uh, no, it's a small... It's, it's, it's a small, single uh, floor house. Perfect. Uh, let's just go in the front door, yes? And I'll go up to the door. Is it locked? Uh, yes. I will open it. <laughs> Alright, uh, go ahead and make me a uh, a uh, thieves tools check. He'll have a uh, while he's doing that, hand, yes. he'll command the guards the best he can to uh, keep an eye on the windows all around the house. And if anything moves apart from them, or tries to get out, call for them. Okay. Um... And so, uh, say, so, you know, 19, tink, <laughs> door swings open. And you guys, uh, go on in. Yeah. Is it dark inside? Uh, there's no light inside, yeah. I cast light on a piece <laughs> of paper. You guys, there, there's now light. <laughs> <laughs> yep. In we go. On your boys looking for any kind of basement or... All right. Perhaps trap door uh, under the carpet. Anything doesn't matter. I'm, I'm anyway, moving right, stones. Go ahead and make me <laughs> investigation, uh, investigation or perception checks for everyone. Uh, yeah, everyone. You said investigation or perception. Correct. Whichever one you want to do. 
Thank God. Drew's going to rely on their plus ones. <laughs> Oof. Okay, what do we got? 10, 16, 6, that one. Uh, Adira, it looks like a completely normal house. I don't know. You don't know why we're here. Like, this is the most normalest looking house you have ever seen. Like, look, look, look at, look at, look at the paint on this. It's so average. Why would, why should we be suspicious of it? Um, this is a normally average paint. <laughs> normally average paint. <laughs> um, Vale and Craven, uh, you guys look around. Um, you don't find any. You don't manage to. You look around. You don't see anything off. Putting you just know that doctor's not here, obviously. Um, as for Ace, uh, you go around to where the, uh, the more like his the bedroom is, and you see that you go to you go like and investigate the closet a bit. You uh, and there's no clothes there, and then you touch around, you look around, you pat on things. You touch the, the 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 back of the closet. There's a hollow sound to it. I think I found Narnia. Get out of here! <laughs> um, like, act, um, actually, Narnia. the wardrobe was a real wardrobe. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'll start. Um. If it looks like it's a false backing, or if it just looks like the dresser just needs to be moved, uh, I'll figure that part out of it, yeah, and I'll okay. let everybody know. Okay. Uh, so you, it is a closet with a you just oh, okay. it, it is a false is a false wall. Okay. Everybody, this way. I think I found something. Mm. Yeah. Um, you you pull back the false wall. And it, it leads to a, uh, you see a set of stairs that goes down. Love that. Let's get in this basement. Um, do we want to bring guards with us? No. I think they should stay, keeping an eye on the windows. If he slips past us, we need something to catch him. All right. All right. And so I will lead. Uh, he held. Just real quick, I guess, pop to one of the windows and let them know there's a stairwell down. Get someone inside at the top of the stairwell. Don't let anyone but us come back up. Yes, sir. And yeah. As you, and when you all of you head down, I'm presuming. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna cast guidance mm -hmm. on Craven. Okay. Then I'm gonna lead the way with light. Okay, and you guys lead down. Whoever goes last, you notice um, that as you as you're getting towards like the as like the turning point away from the door, mm -hmm. um, that, that 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 that's covered by the false wall. Um, you see one of the guards like turns his back and like you see that they, they have followed and they have a guard protecting the door. Got it. Um, but you get you, you get down there. Um, it's mostly just dirt and stone. And you eventually get to the bottom of it. And with light, you get through it, and you see it's a you see a you see a whole separate like a secret room. Uh, again, walls and ceiling mostly contain uh, dirt and stone, um, and it looks old. Like, like what's what's you can see this room is used for a very this is this room has been used for a very long time. In which, yeah, you see there's tables, you see there's like there's, there's a table, and then stuff on the wall. Um, it seems to be some, like, writing and hand-drawn photos. Some of them have, like, X's across them. But it doesn't look like it's being used in a while. Like, are there... No, I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying, like, it... I'm saying it, it, it had, like... Sorry, I think I must have misspoke there. Um, I'm just saying, like it's old. It's like it's been it's been used for a okay. long time. Oh, oh right. okay, okay, okay. Unkept. 
but still. Got it. Gotcha, gotcha. It's like it's like it's like the guest room you have in the household that's like you keep you you know, you keep it clean, but you don't really use it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How big's the room? Um we'll say twenty feet by twenty feet. Is there a crazy doctor in the middle of it? Uh there's no one there except uh you notice um in the one of the far corners there's um in the far corner you see there's a chest and when you and you examine the chest you see this little bit of red that's stripping from the front of it. Well that's ominous. I suppose we better open this chest and see what is inside, yes? I mean, that's... I, I really don't want to, to be honest. <laughs> Let's just I leave mean... it be. <laughs> uh, here to do the job. I will open it. Okay. Uh, you I... open it. Um, i like everyone to make uh, constitution saving throws for me. Oh, uh, does it smell nasty? Do I do a saving throw again? Uh, it no, should be on your character sh character sheet, top left side. There should be a section for saving throws. Not great. Yeah, that's how I felt. That's how I emotionally felt about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, vale and Adira, uh, you guys, you all of you are immediately met with a waft of with a stench of rot mm. and decay. As but uh, we'll get to the mess of what's inside. <laughs> Um, it's worse than the rat. Yeah, Vale and Adira, you guys recoil a bit, but it's fine. Uh, Craven and Ace, uh, the, it stinks. And I have like, a sensitive. Notes. You could choose. You could choose if your character can manage to keep it in or not, but it at least gets into. But whatever's in your stomach right now gets to your mouth level. Oh. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and cover that. Uh, cover our schnoz up again with our. Uh... Our band bandito mask, and uh, try to focus on I, our eyes not watering. No, I definitely puke up whatever I ate in that cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you look in, um, you see, uh, you see a body in which it is the body of of Doctor Day. So someone comes in and scoops up the doctor. Every so often, takes their fucking form and then got it. But then you see, but you, you look and you see, um, there seems there seems to be something underneath uh, this dead body. Oh man, I'm not. Oh. I can't. Oh, I can't. put your hand oh. in it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> okay. okay. It's like, it's like uh, yeah, like you were like, remove. Uh. Uh, you remove the body of Dr. Day, and underneath it, you see a body of just what looks to be just a regular human male in which um, I need whoever was not interacting with uh, Tolkar in the alleyway to make me uh, to be to make me a history check. It was not. Okay. So, so, would... so not so not Veil, vale, but um, Ace, Adira, and Craven. Make history checks for me. History? Yeah. My history is not that good. No. I'm still, I'm still very sick. <laughs> <laughs> um, Adira, this, this person looks like one of the guards that you saw earlier today. Do I announce that to the group? Oh, it is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it could be could it be any oh god I think it, do you have brothers sisters as I look at fail <laughs> <laughs> yeah. do you come from a long line of shapeshifters uh, to be honest I have no idea where I come from 
but uh, uh, story for another time. Uh, is that all that's in the chest? Or that is all that's in the chest. Okay. All right. You said something about there being like hand drawn pictures uh, and stuff. Yes. You look through and you see most of it is just drawings of of children. You see, they seem to be organized and categorized um, by by like deliciousness. No, um, they're organized by time frame. Okay. And you see that like there's a picture of kids and um, some, you know, like in which majority of them have X's on them. So you could just you could just tell that like you get an idea like, OK, this must have been his targets. And, yeah. you know, it's like it going through the children and which you see on that stack, um, there's one kid. That. Um, there's one kid on there that looks. Um, very, that, that looks very, has this distinct um, features similar to the king that's crossed off. OK, and, and, and then last keep going. I was going to say, so, so it's like the kid, this is, this is from the time before when the king's brother, maybe. Yeah. The and then you, you also see yeah. like the, you see that like the way they're organized, it seemed to like, there's like a piles of that go like a pile to the left and then a, like piles that go to the right. You seem to go the farther left you go, the like the farther back in time, this the okay. whole thing has been going. Um, in which why if, while you're looking, uh, make me a perception check fail. All right. <laughs> okay you don't notice okay are there is there anything else in this room that would um g any other documents or anything like that uh you do see that like there's also paper with um like a list of names on them and mostly just like you can tell that these are kids names in which uh, you see the last name of Madonu being on like from the one that was 30 years ago being crossed off and it looked like like there was one more name on it it seemed like he was going to go after the current king after if whatever happened but something stopped him Uh, uh, Craven? Are there any pictures of kids that don't have X's on them? Uh, there are. Uh, you look through and you see the newer, you see the list says today and you recognize some of the names are, you see the faces are crossed off. Some of the kids are in there. Uh, you see the faces of Sil and Tolkar. In that Son of a bitch! Too. He's not home. And I see two targets yes. of where he was, might be. We just took all the guards. Not all yeah. of them. Uh, it was a small force. Um, <laughs> yeah. One more thing before we go, though. Um, is there any sort of evidence of, like, potions or elixirs or anything like that? I want to see if we can figure out if this guy had a stash right. of some shitty. Give me, drinking. give me, uh, who wants to do it? Give me another round of perception checks. All right. All right, well. Uh, while I'm doing that, I'm also like touching the wall for any more false walls. Like, fuck it. I don't want to find another body. Don't want to find another body. <laughs> yeah, don't want to find it. <laughs> wow. 18, 18. Wow. Wow, Dira. Breaking the tide of 18s with a 25. How dare you? <laughs> Three 18s and a 25. That's pretty good on perception. It makes me uh, feel like we like that ones earlier. Yeah. Um, you don't find any more bodies. Uh, but you look around, you do find that there is a, uh, you see there's a loose stone. One of you finds a loose stone, pulls it out, and you pull, it seems to be like a tray of vials, of, seem to be empty vials uh, in there. And you can tell there seems to be some, one looks a little less dry than the others. And they're all, but the rest, but all of them are empty. And uh, Vale, you connect it, you give it, you put a little bit of connection Whatever this liquid is, 
it's it's run out and maybe he had maybe what you saw he was having the last of it he's okay um and then Adira, you're you're going through with that 25 um as you're going through the kids to see if there's like if just going through like what like what did this, what did this what did this guy do um what did he go after um you look through Actually, I think at this point, if we, if this is important. Um, I need everyone except for Fawn to deafen or mute themselves. Uh, Kanoa, just take off your earbuds. Okay. All right. I'll give you all a thumbs up if we're done. Um, cool. Okay, we're cool. Um, so, you're looking through the list. And you're looking back at something. You're looking back at the first wave that happened over 100, nearly over 200 years ago. Um, you're looking through. Rec you're looking through, and you see there's one particular target that disturbs you. Um, you see, um, there were pictures. There's not a lot of pictures in this one, but you, but you notice that in the list of targets. Uh, you see the one is you see one of the very bottom was seen to be the last target in this in this first the first time of doing this whole thing with the children the last target that's not crossed off uh, which you can figure probably was a fail attempt you see is uh, you see is a uh, newborn newborn elf newborn elf. No name? You, see, it's, um, you don't get a name from it. As you could tell that maybe this was like like sort of like you could tell by the writer that maybe that's like a last minute target. Judging on the writing of like how much more aggressive it is on for this one. It just says if an elf. Okay. And I can't find anything else that would like help identify name or uh, anything. No, just just that. Do I find anything else or that it? That's it. And we're back. Alright. No, was it your buds on? Not yet. Get <laughs> over. Kanoa! Kanoa! <laughs> <laughs> I saw the thumbs up. Yeah. Howdy. <laughs> Have you seen Three Amigos? The whole yeah. thing just made... <laughs> Oops. But uh, yeah, so... So yeah, you guys now feel like you've cleared this room of... You find, you know, past and current targets. Uh, the dead bodies of, you know... The current of Dr. Day and a guard that you saw earlier today. And then empty vials with one being less dry that like maybe whatever she's drinking is the last of. I'd like to get real familiar with the face of that guard just in case he's able to change on the spot. All right. Sounds good. Guard's body was underneath the doctor's body. Correct. Implying okay. guard is current form. Or sorry, doctor is current form. Okay. Cool. Uh, we should maybe leave a couple of guards here just in case, but go back. <laughs> yeah. Off we go. So let's rush back. Probably like real fast. Yeah. All right. And so all of you uh, take off, leaving the uh, leaving the guards back at the house to make sure of Aver tries to make a just a couple back. but yeah i would say we might need you guys at the <laughs> the estate so okay and it, you guys run and as you get there um you know the streets are cleared uh no one else is out no one else is out and then when you get to the front of the estate uh you see um you see a body of a guard um dead seems to be uh, dead on the floor blood seeping out it seems to be killed by a stab of a of a of a sword from what looks to be another guards 
and as it, and you see you look you see a path of like armor being taken of, of like set very sets of like the helmets and then the gloves the the the, the, the belt carrying the holsters leading towards the inside oh boy uh yeah let's follow them tracks homie yeah i'll Where follow the breadcrumbs oh yeah mm hmm all right, and so you guys charge right in, uh, and you look down the hall. Uh, you guys, you run down the hallway, and you hear a commotion uh, going on in the inside. As you get towards the end, you see, uh, you can see like a again a trail of dead guards leading towards with the, like, but you see it, the the wounds this time are not from weapons. You see, there's like consistent claw marks coming across these as you get towards the end of the hallway leading to the big area. Uh, Swinny, the door is wide open. You see a uh, you see a guard and facing in front of you with a hand with a claw like hand, uh, right through the guard and retracts. Um, the body falls in before you. Before we start, let me just <laughs> you see this um, dark gray. Uh, you see this dark gray, tall, long figure. Um, with claws for hands with a small reptilian like tail like two toed feet with like sort of like red they seem to be like uh, you see like strands of red covering it which looks like muscle but not really um, and as it turns to you all and says ah, yes a bigger feast and this looks from this creature looks familiar to you, Craven. Oh, it is going to end tonight's session. Ah, ah, ah! <laughs> Bastard. Familiar to you, you alone. Oh man. Oh god, backstory things. Oh god man. Oh beans. <laughs> oh oh man. Yeah. I gotta leave it on a high note of sorts. I gotta shoot him in the dick. <laughs> Plus, I want Leno to be here. <laughs> and so, I want Leno to be here for the fight. So, all right. <laughs> You're going to shoot him in the neck? That's your yes. first action. You have no <laughs> You have no other say. <laughs> There's really not any other thing I would want to do. I got a week to sit on it, and it's still going to be shoot him in the dick, so. Craven, let's see, Craven action, yeah. shoot dick. All right. Uh, so, yeah. They go up and join us tonight. Uh, we'll be back next week, hopefully with a with a full cast once again with Unovic returning. Uh, just keep your eyes and ears open. And uh, yeah, thank you all for joining. And as always, see you next time. Bye. Bye, Bye forever. Bye forever. Yeah. Bye forever and ever. <laughs> nope, negative. Hey, I'm gonna end stream too. Thanks for being in here, y'all. Appreciate it. Good shit. I'm gonna uh, think about my actions and lie down. <laughs> Your consequences. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> think about my actions and lie down for a bit. All right, y'all. Take it easy. Thanks for being in here. Bye. Bye, Bye forever. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>